and the recording started. Hello. Uh, we don't have one of our boys for uh, MVM stuff, but we are just going to do some casual. It's been a, a little bit since we've done just going through. Thinking of just trying getting the night weapons and seeing how many kills I can get with them. Just seems like fun. Just a little bit of a little bit of fun in conversation. That's it. And, and some practice. Some practice for being better at demonite. Other person we got here is Menace. Say hello, Menace. Mark. Yeah, Good to see you, chat. I'm Menace. I otherwise play for if you're watching Digimon, I play Finn. I'm otherwise a friend here of Alabaster, where sometimes we cook up some nice things for MVM, but otherwise, it's a, it's a good time. Yep. I have no idea what he's going to be playing. Uh, give it, give it... What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, man? Well, I could either play the objective and do Pyro, but then again... I like going against the grain, so I might feel a bit of spy today. Speaking of going against the grain that I usually do, I usually swing around the Scotsman Skullcutter, but I think I am going to give every weapon 10 kills. Try and run through every, uh, every Demonite weapon I can. We'll see how it goes. Ah, people talking, people talking in game, fun. Got him. Now it's time to find out whether they are the base gentlemen that we hope they are, or are the racist Halo players. Delectably cringe. Okay, I need to figure out a way to get in there. I see, I see vital prey. This feels wrong. Oh my God, I have killed my pyro oh. brethren. Cannibalism. Cannibalism is. Uh, I was, I was gonna call it fun, but that, that would be incorrect. Who, who just appeared? Hello, boss. <laughs> I see. My phone. What the? F Why do you sound so warbly? I'm in my car. I just wanted to let you know that I'm driving home right now if you guys want to play some MVM. Oh, hell yeah. Like, we've already gotten the TF2 stream started, but if you've got, if you're going to be available for MVM, I'm, I'm all I for it. I would fucking love to play some MVM. I will, uh, how long are you streaming for tonight? I'm going to be streaming for as long as we tolerate. <laughs> Alright, good, because I, I might get stuck in traffic. This highway's pretty shit. Anyways, I'll see you soon, cutie. Have fun with your stream. Alright, thank you, big guy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, well, it looks like uh, after we do a little bit of pumping, we're going to be doing some MVM. This might be one of the longer streams, which I am all for. It's better for us because we get some game time. Better for you because you get top deck, chat. More content! More! We require more content! I must make more! I, with the half Satoshi, I just don't get as much crunch as I'm used to. The the Scotsman Skullcutter gives me a satisfying little bit of crunch that helps me know that I'm doing damage. Half Satoshi is swift, and that's nice. That's nice. Just not used to it. Like, pff, fuck. I, I, I fucking face planted. However, five kills already. Uh, I have to get another five in the... Next He's match. close in front of me, why don't you? I only got four with the spy. Eh, little spy man! Little spy man with your tiny little spy. Mm. Vote for the, uh, the harvest. Yep. Hell yeah. I mean, at times I might be a tiny spy man, but it's always the unsuspecting dick on your <laughs> the right side of your face you don't suspect. 
you could do you could be all sorts of evil as the spot the spot who is the most evil character in team fortress 2 spy has the capacity for evil but he does not do it he's too classy for it medic is objectively the most evil because he takes people's souls and sells them for the to the devil instead of you know himself hmm hmm it also goes back to the age-old thing with any RPG or just concept of medics in general is that they can be very evil, especially when you take it back to something like fantasy where healing and magic just go hand in hand and then it's used as a torture mechanism and it's just like your memory is there, but the wounds are not. The m yep, I, I would say that... The amount of knowledge that you have for healing and biology usually correlates to how potentially sadistic you are. I mean, your entire profession is digging inside of people's goopy goops, and, you know, that's for their betterment, but that's still gore hound uh, behavior. Okay, well, everyone. All. <laughs> The entire team is spies! The entire team are spies! What do they expect me to do? <laughs> oh no, everyone's a spy. Oh, this is tragic. And I have been- And they're spawn killing, yep. I have been challenged to a duel, cool. Okay, well, this is getting out of hand. Ow. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. They've challenged me to a duel because they know it will be an easy win. I will now proceed to call them out on their bullshit. Mm, yes, checkmate. Mm, um, yes, they, they they have been they have been checkmated. Fucking missed the sword swing. That was pathetic. Ow. Sad, sad. I'm I'm pissed, baby. Bad. Oh no. My five kills that I had. Oh, oh I, I must respond to them. I do not deny a good duel. This is a, a very shit duel, but... Oh, don't... don't oh, okay. Well, now I'm being defiled. Not only am I being beaten, I am being defiled. How could they? Ow. Fuck. <laughs> oh god, that is a lot of people named Sydney. Uh. Okay, we might have to eject. We might have to eject. Oh, there's... Okay, hold on. Sydney is a bot. Oh, fuck. Okay, we've gotten rid of our Sydney, but now they have to get rid of theirs. But but it's it, uh, it's, it's accumulating. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Ah! Okay, well, shit. <laughs> that oh, went to sh that that went to shit real fast. 
Well, now that I've been challenged, it's only right that I additionally challenge them back. Best two out of three situation. This is going to be my white whale for the day. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, they're no longer here. We just have bots. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I guess I'm just... <laughs> just disconnect. Just disconnect. We'll find a new thing. I mean, unless you want to challenge a bot very badly, Alabast. We do not have the combined skill nor uh, power necessary to fight a horde of bots. We got this. Hey, Junction! Junction is such a freaking tiny map. Such a such a such a such a fucking tiny map. Look at it. So tiny. So small. Itty bitty. Not a lot of space. Oh shit. I actually probably need to switch out of the brass piece. Probably not good for MGM. Uh... Oh my god! Uh, what is happening to the final point? Ah! Uh, oh! Oh! I am helping to hold! Ah! Where did he come from? I thought that guy was dead. Hey, has the torch kills. Fantastic. Shit. Hey, I've got my I've got my extra uh, kills. I'll wait till I die before I switch to another weapon, but I have got kill with him. A uh, heavy like getting killed, he big man. <laughs> Mark. Okay. Can Kun in four? I don't know why my eyes are drawn to that name. Like it. It's a very, it's a very, it's a very flamboyant name. It speaks to you? Yeah, yeah, Cancun speaks to me. I don't know why. Is that like a, is that like a place? Is Cancun a place? Yes. Ah, I, I don't know where it is, but I can only imagine it's from the uh, kind of equator. I'm gonna I'm gonna say equator. Fuck. I missed. I think the scout hates me. Should I apologize? No. No, they deserve it. Oh, they have a teleporter over there, that's why. Yeah! Okay, well now that I'm dead I gotta I gotta change. Uh, and I think I will go with Eyelander this time around. See if I can get a little bit of traction. No. Oh. Thought I was gonna get a free kill. You know, like. <laughs> Okay, well that was deserved. I, d I deserved that one. What is your favorite... What is your favorite food? And why? Good evening, Frost Raptor. To answer my own question first, my favorite food 
Uh, and, and I like it because of the cheesiness, because of the spice, the kick, and because I'm an absolute slob for, for chicken. It's my favorite, it's my favorite meat. Uh, gotta say, arroz con pollo. I, I like the dish. I like the dish. Granted, anything with chicken, cheese, and a little bit of kick from, from some stuff is always going to be good. But, but I kind of, I kind of like the Spanish rice. I, I like, I like that sort of vibe when it comes to food. I will say crab is pretty good. Uh, I think the last time I had like true blue crab, uh, I think it was kind of crab Alfredo. It was it was a white sauce Alfredo sort of thing with just uh, noodle and crab, and I distinctly remember it happening a couple of years ago and i was an absolute slaw i i i was i was a glutton i was a glutton i i ate like an entire fucking bucket of stuff it was it was really good <laughs> granted i don't think i would think the same way now but at the time i thought it was tasty Trump wump. Just gonna ping out for a second there. Look up. Uh oh. Oh fuck. Uber. Bad. Very bad. I dislike this. I dislike this a great deal. I've done what I can, and now I go back for Apple. I'm getting sploinkied. I am sucking big ones with the Islander. I am not good at Dibu <laughs> I've been playing it for hundreds of hours, and yet I am still not good. How do I get good? Oh, fuck. Okay, so they're guarding this side. Oh. Fuck, no! My, my ping! No! 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 Fuck! That, oh, that infuriates me so. I, I lagged out for a single frame and I got fucked. I would have had that. I would have had that. God damn it. I probably wouldn't have had that. I had the upper hand, but I don't think I would have had that. I'm just not good enough. I have missed all my charges. Uh, I am... <laughs> I'm tanking, man. <laughs> I, I, it, we've only just started the evening, and I'm my skill's already fucking tanked. Calabas ready is your help on point. I wish I could, man. I'm just so bad. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a lot of bullshit that I don't want to put up with just yet. I'm going to try and be a sneaky sneak. Fuck. I got one! Yeah! I got I got head! I got a head. I'm gonna block this particular corridor. I don't want no one coming up here. Not without me dying, which will probably happen. But Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there I go. <laughs> Ah, shit. 
you know, uh, remaining knowledgeable of how bad I am at the game just tells me that there's plenty of room for me to grow, and I should take that as a good thing. But also, I get really mad. <laughs> you mean kind of like how the other day, how that guy made that recommendation in MVM where you're supposed to use the Highlander instead of the Scotsman? Yeah, there, there have been some instances where I've gotten unnecessarily mad. Granted, I over-exaggerate this shit on stream for the sake of, you know, uh, a little bit of flair, a little bit of flourish. Cat, do you believe him? Do you believe me? Do you believe that I'm over-exaggerating when I get super angry? Yeah, got one. Oh, I'm mid. Not bad. God damn it! No! No! <laughs> uh, people like to complain about the Scotsman skull cutter being a bit of a crutch because it's one of the things that can random crit, and when it random crits, it hits fucking hard. Uh, but, solid count- solid counterpoint. Um, stop complaining. <laughs> Demonite is already a class that gets hard countered by anyone that has the faintest bit of awareness and skill. So, you know, I wouldn't- I wouldn't get in a huff about it. Just go Pyro if you- if you truly think that, you know, that- that Scotsman Skullcutter Demonite is an asshole. You can counter him pretty easily. Fuck, why do I keep... I think everyone's a spy. Everyone's walking like a spy. That seems to be your critique whenever I play a character who's just like, man, he's walking like a spy. And he's walking like a spy. That guy's a spy. Fuck, everyone's a spy. I... Ah, ah, the paranoia's kicking in. Do I have a voice? Do I have a tell? Is my poker face poor? Now I've got a- AH! Fuck! I just got two heads, leave me the fuck alone, Pyro. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I seem to have, keep having this dilemma- dilemma- fuck. Dilemma. Dilemma. Heavy. My minigun is eating up so much ammo because it's the Hulong. Uh, yeah, that's one of the things about the Hulong. It's, like, high ammo consumption, but at close range, your enemy gets railed super hard. And it's not as slow as the Brass Beast. So you have to basically use it kind of like you would a melee weapon. The only difference being that is that you can hit more of your shots because it's a gun. <laughs> What a raving endorsement, Alabaster. Hey, in MVM, it's fantastic, because you got those big boys that gotta be dealt with. But aren't you overly dependent on, like, a pyro? Did no, you because you produce your own fire. They're going to be close-ranged, so you'll be igniting them yourself. Here we go. I'm picking up speed. Now, how do I use this speed for anything useful? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. I just got these heads. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay. All right. Cool. Back off! Bitch! Little bitch! Itty bitty 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 tiny bitch. Ah! That hurt my soul. Oh, that hurt my soul. Fuck. 
Oh no. <laughs> I, I, I turned for the briefest moment and got my ass backstabbed. Uh, uh, feels bad, man. Got spied. Hard. Yep. Deserved. Deserve. I believe that's the end of the match. I was close. Give a vote for Steel. I like Steel. No, I'm a rebel. Junction it is. You motherfucker. You're a little... You're, you are... An ingrate, how could you? Look what you've done! You know what, I go for the underdog. Mountain Lab! Mountain Lab, yay! Mountain Lab for 2024. Mountain Lab for President of the Maps. I hate that I can't even say a device used for the sake of cartography and the tracking of environments without thinking about Twitter. God damn it. I can't, e I can't even say the... Twitter cared about facts. I can't even say the word map without it being fucking Twitter bait. This is true. Twitter has Twitter cared about facts. They, most of them don't know what a physical map is. New season of Dora the Explorer. I'm the map. I'm the map. And he goes to jail. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, I need to get four more kills of the Islander. Swiper? Yes, swiping. Swiper bad. Oh, great heavens! I don't count that. That scout didn't even try. <laughs> even funnier because they tried to kill me, the map just started. Yep. For you, French, you can just spit in my face. Yes. Yes. Mm, little, little man, little man, no friendship, no friendship for you. Who needs friend when you have a professional obligation? Mm. No friend, no friend, only co-workers. You are the cat from the game off. That is what you look like. Freaky little weirdo. I'm gonna try and go to E to give them a little bit of a little bit of a pestering. You guys had man. <laughs> what a glorious beauty! Oh god, I, I think someone predicted our little our little stratagem. Go cap. Go cap, Trixie. Go cap. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna prey upon them. Yeah, yeah. I love you, uh, Scout! Oh come on! You you instantly die! <laughs> Don't worry, you got this. Just protect me. Protect me. Thank you. Oh, you got a... You got a big boy. You got this. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so heavy. We're so heavy. Get them. Get those motherfuckers. Yeah. I got no ammo. Ah. I'm out. Help me. You're on your own. Yes. Yes. God, yes. I'm swapping places. Focus on their spawn points. Just, just cap. Just cap.
They got royally fucked. This is great. Oh my god. <laughs> They suck! They suck! They suck so- One of them rage quit! Look at them go! Oh, that was great. That was great! <laughs> he couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle these balls of CP steel. You know, team, that's why we're built different. Just a little we bit. camp on top. Just a little bit. Now, I, I bet I bet they're going to do the same fucking thing, but we're going to be ready for them. We're going to be ready for them. There's nothing they can do. They're going to hyperfixate on the final point and they're going to fucking fail. And, and that's when uh, I, I spoiled the entire thing and they're going to just play the game normally. That's probably... That, I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> to... I just fucked my team. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. I jinxed the whole fucking thing. Five, four, Look what I've done. Look, Look what I've done. Yep, I already see him coming. Yeah. Fuck that sniper in particular. There we go. This is. We have a spy. This is fun. Uh, hold on. Someone go deal with that. I didn't need your help, you know. Ooh, ooh! I'm spooky. Ooh, ooh! Wah, wah. I was fucking with that heavy for way too long. Aw, <laughs> oh, little guy. Poor guy. Engineer Engineer Kaming. Oh, you missed that boy hard, Scout. Yeah, poor guy. They just don't got the stuff. They just don't got the stuff. They don't got enough stuff. Look at him! Look at him fail and falter! Oh, not enough stuff. And even if he succeeded, there's a sentry off to his left. Yep. Oh, they there's no way. There's no way they could have handled it. Yep. I, they're they're not gonna make it, but they 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 just don't got it. They just don't got it. Maybe if they had a little bit more, uh, maybe just a tiny bit more, but they don't, they just have got it. That would have been terrible if I got backstabbed there. <laughs> if you yell at them loud enough, you'll give them a heart attack because of the stress. That's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, it just... Just yell. Just yell at something loud enough and it will, like, pop them. I mean, you'll probably be dead because that requires a, a lot of sound, but... A lot of force. But, you know, it, it's worth it. Oh, fuck. We have two snipers. They are doing their work. Good for them. You know what? I have a feeling they're going to try and wrap around, so I'm going to... I'm going to give them the old reach around. I'm going to go to E to make sure they don't do anything sneaky. Oh, we already got a sentry here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good catch. Oh, shit. about to get that spot. Yeah, it was just a little guy. Okay, so we've got this completely locked down. Oh, that, that's so sad. Aww. 
Here, here I was, here I was thinking we were gonna get jinxed, but I, I was completely wrong. I hit a spy! I hit him! Where the fuck is he? Yeah, he's around here somewhere. Just keep your eyes pe there he goes. Okay. Thanks, mate. Which control point though? Uh it was the one on it was our control point. He might go over to yours for some sneaky back cap stuff, but you should be fine. Well we already have a pyro that's kinda of dancing around. Fire, fire, fire. Ah! Hey! Medic! Thank you! Thank you, friend! Yippee! I'm at five kills. I feel happy. When I die, I'm gonna swap this weapon. Poor scout. Thanks, duck. I have a feeling they're going to try and pub push, but I don't think it'll work. I mean, it might. It might. They might impress us, but I don't think it will. We did it, and it's because we're friends. They got dunked super, super hard. I don't think I saw most of them for like 75% of the game. Oh, they were coming to the other side. We had that completely reinforced. Uh, I'm voting for altitude, but you can vote for whatever. I'm... That was a that was a good one. I think that was good. We gotta tie. Oh no! Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Just, just the the whiplash of that getting fucking super quickly swamped the altitude. It got me a little bit. Uh, tell me, tell me, what do you think will be better this time around, Persian Persuader or or the Claytomore? If you're unfamiliar with either of those, which one sounds the cooler? Well, I haven't got a vote, so I'm just gonna say Persian Persuader. Here I go! Fuck. Ow. Hey, were you asking Chet, or were you asking me? I was asking you, guy. I was asking the general opinion of the populace around me. Well, I don't have an opinion because I don't know what they are. Got it. Ow. Well, I know how today's going to be handled. Uh, violently. It, it would seem violently. That's the math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Zooming. Mm. I was about to fall off that little fucking bridge again. I fell off the first. Would be the first time. Yeah, it, it it wouldn't be the first time. It literally would not be the first time. He's right. I'm gonna do some sneaky stuff. They're gonna get sneaked on. They're not gonna see it coming. 
Oh, shit. Okay, so the Persian Persuader a long time ago would give you health recovery for the ammo kits that enemies drop, but I believe... Or I'm misremembering, maybe. Uh, but it would seem that they've changed it to it recovers your charge meter. So that is good to know. Pyronite, Sergeant Bristol, the Alchemist, mm. creative. I'm gonna sneak a little bit closer just so I can die faster or kill them quicker. Oh shit, you guys have. You guys have them locked down. Here I am thinking that I'm gonna do something do something funny to them, but you know. It might be a bit overkill because we got two heavies. Yeah, that'd do it. But, I just saw some. <laughs> I saw something funny. Uh, I see some sneaky stuff. We got some guys that are trying to bump off the side. We just got flanked by two fires. Ah, shit! Thanks for the health, buddy. Okay, I haven't gotten a kill yet, which is kind of bad. Shit. Yep, there I go. Okay. That was ass. That was ass. I lived for a while, but that was ass. It's because you got no squishy. I'm a little, I'm a little squishy. Hey, I'm squishy and slippery like a little sponge. Oh, fuck. Oh, we got spies. Of course. Hey, I got one! Yippee! Yay! Hype. Very happy. Look out! The banner! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I saw a sneaky guy. Uh, he... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've gotten one kill with the Persian Persuader. It it would seem that I'm not using it correctly. <laughs> Granted, it might be because of the tight corners and other such things. Well, your heads are at least two feet tall. That is a long head. Something about using different swords and such for Demonite makes me makes me target a little differently. I don't know. <laughs> oh fucking ha ha ha! I lived. That was way too fucking close for me. Ow! Shit. I got one! Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles! Never mind. Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. I should have remembered that. Okay, so teleporters down. That means our progress has been stunted a little bit. But I'm sure the NGs will get their shit set up before, uh, before they push. Fuck it. Hope so.
Ah, yikes. Oof. Ow. Owie. Oh, I fucking... I see a certain little I someone turning on TF2. Team Fort for two? Hawk! Is that I hear? Boss! Hello! Hi, yeah! How it going? I need cock. I need the loving embrace of a woman's penis as well. Oh, girl cock. Yep. Um... We got, um, we got Bob in the room. Bob is in the audience tonight. Blob, yes. Uh, are you in MVM right now, or are you in No, we're, we're casualing for a little bit. Casually for a little bit? Let me try to cue for you. Uh, it's it's adorable. It's adorable even. But if you're looking to if you're looking to do MVM, uh, let's we'll finish up this match and then see, if, see we can if I can join. I'm been trying to use the quick fix lately. I'm kind of shooting at that. I am trying to get a. I'm trying to get ten kills with each of the demonites melees. You don't ever try to do anything else. Uh, I mean sometimes I do, but it's been a bit since I've done just casual pubbing. Oh, I've gotten three. Ah. Actually, that would be seven. Neat. Very cool. Okay. I need three more and then Persian Persuader's done. But if we're going to MVM, uh, the, the little personal objective is a tad mute. Huh? Well, the personal objective uh, for casual stuff was to just start getting kills, start getting swings and shit. But if we're going to be going to MVM, it's just going to be a matter of Actually. I'm commanding that you join me for MVM. That's what that's what the plan is. Uh, you don't you don't have to be domineering. It's already on the docket. I'm cute for your game. Kick somebody. Uh, I won't make you do that. <laughs> right, one spy dead. Victory! Ah, uh, there we go. Victory for them. I believe some people have actually left, so you should be able to join. We are queued. Hell yeah! Uh, I need one more kill with the, uh, with the Persian Persuader and I'll be good. My psychological needs will be met. By the way, did you see the new little thumbnail that I made for TF2 stuff in the art channel, boss? I did not. Let me see. The second one is the old one. The first one is the new one. Oh, I've seen that before. I saw that on your YouTube page. Yeah. It's good. Done okay. Hopefully it'll be a fine replacement for the old one. Bing. He's loading in. He's getting. He's getting loaded. Yeah. Dude, shut up! Stop talking about me. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. You want people not to talk about you? No, I want. I want everyone to talk. They keep talking about me. Oh boy! If you said someone's name over and over again, is that talking about them? Yeah. You're gonna make him sneeze a lot too. What? You know, if you, you talk about somebody. They sneeze when someone is talking. I have, you know, I have talking. never heard this mythology. What the fuck? You know what I'm talking about? Like whenever a character in a show sneezes because someone else in another scene was talking about them. I have never seen that. What the Did hell you are you really on know about? what I'm talking about. No, I don't. What the fuck? You are, you are bullshitting. You are bullshitting. That is, a, that, that is a thing. That's a thing? It's superstition. That's you are literally stupid. And I want you to stop I'm, you're not to wrong. That. You're not wrong. Oh. Dude, this heavy has had Uber for like a millennia. He's very tough. I we gotta kill that doctor. Oh good heavens! No, I have the wrong melee on. Well, I have the Persian Persuader stuff. Uh, Claymore time. 
I'm fairly certain that the Claymore is going to be ass, but you know. It's behind fine. you, behind you, behind you. Uh. Ow. Hello. No! Oh, what the fuck? El Bozo. Okay, so they've got two sentries set up, and I am not prepared to face either of them. Uh, what the fuck is God, just get me on that fucking point. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, that's over <gasps> again. They're so fuck. They're tough. They're tough. You know what? I'm gonna flank him. I'm gonna flank him. I don't think Pyro's the play today. I'm gonna keep playing him because I want to get good at him. But do you think the Pyro from TF2 is a gay man or a woman? I don't think he's either. I think it could be either whatever the fuck he wants. Oh, that was not you. <laughs> I just saw you running up to me yelling medic and it was a spy. Yeah, sneaky little guy. A sneaky little guy that's I a spy. Hang. Oh, we are. Oh my god, they have a sentry watching over there. The infestation is about to begin. I, I see a couple of our boys starting to. Yeah, you're one of them. You're one of the boys. Hey, you got an image in the knee. Dude, this they are not giving up this point. How many engineers do they have? At yeah. least two. Mikey Yuxon. Hank, Hank, I'm gonna go medic and we're gonna ah! push them. I got jump scared. Right, where are you, Hank? I see you. Get in there. Guys, what do you guys think of the Game Theorist channels? What the fuck? Um, I think they're alright. I don't watch them anymore. <sighs> fuck. Sorry, I, I, got, I got psychologically destroyed by that sniper. <laughs> uh, I think that the Game Theorist stuff tend... The point of theorizing things is to take evidence and then stretch it as far as feasibly possible. But sometimes it's really dumb. Oh my god, they have Uber again. A lot of good they got, did ya? Hold on, hold on. Where is everybody? Yeah, yeah, one kill. I've gotten one kill on the board. They both get behind that sentry. Like, really? They, their defenses are bolstered. Oh my fucking god, this sniper. <laughs> He's gotta be cheating. Look at his points. What's his name? Fizb? F Fizb? F F F F FZB? They were playing like, That they were guy's playing gotta Huntsman. be cheating. He's Huntsman. I mean, if they're cheating with the Huntsman, that's bad, but also kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, but he's like sausage fucking us. That's a spy. Sausage fucking. That's a new. That's a new phrase. Oh, that medic was an idiot. I'm behind you, Hank. Curtis E. <laughs> Bone apple tea. Oh, there's a spy behind you, Hank. I got a pyro. Damn. That's the important part. And got killed by the sniper again. It's the F is it's the SZV guy, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Almost like he's hacking. He's a little cheater. He's a little cheater. He's cheating at the video game. 
Or maybe he's yeah, just that card that is ridiculous. He is actually getting a lot of headshots. Or her. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't trust it. Yeah. Are we I, staying with this? I don't know. You left. I left because of MVM. MVM. Oh, right. That's right. Man v. Man. Machine. Yep. It's official. Man versus Monday. Rename of the stream? Yep. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'll find a game. Danke, friend. Man versus Mondays 3. Let's go. Uh -oh. Hardcore metal. You know, when you refresh your server browser, you only get like a hundred some odd servers. Really? Instead of like the full fucking like amount of them that there are. Why? I, I don't know. It's just happening to me. You guys know how to fix that? Uh, no. I unfortunately do not. Some That's so crazy that we still see own servers. What the fuck? How, how are they still a thing? What was own? I never really understood what it was. Uh, it was our, our enemy. <laughs> it was our enemy at the uh, SPA. Yep, that's what they were. God, that was such a fucking edgy era. <laughs> oh. I remember sitting there for like two and a half hours in the same it's, space. It's not potatoes, but I do have a machines attack server. Ooh. I'll leave that option open, but that's kind of fucking difficult. I don't know if we can do it with just three of us. Yeah, we, we'd probably need a couple of extra hands on deck. I'd want at least Ben. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think he's busy, so, yeah. Unfortunate. But, uh... Okay, so what ultimately was the SPA? Was it just like a military RP? I, I cannot find like any way to fucking describe it, dude. I've tried. Cause there was the uh, there was the front facing the the faces thing. There was hey, stay there, have these specific cosmetics, and don't go don't go anywhere. But then we we raided a lot of places in terms of going to trade and community servers and just kind of being like a nuisance i cannot find this goddamn server dude it's not showing me all the servers this is so annoying shit and was was the own group kind of uh the same thing as the spa just different i found it um i i don't know dude i i they were um I know. I know it was a bunch of kids with uh, who were into Nazi paraphernalia. Yeah, I mean, I mean we, to be fair, Teddy kind of was too. Yeah, but he was like, he played up the Soviet aesthetic more than he did the Russian one. It was basically World War Two TF Two military role play. Run me whatever you can. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to classify it, man. I think I've tried like multiple times to multiple different groups of people, and I just. Like, it's best just I, I don't bring it up, because I don't even know what the fuck it was either. It was definitely a group, is what I would refer it to as. Do you find the memories of it fond? Or... Um, I mean, I had fun back then, and that's all I really care about. Yeah. It can be fun. I, I'm always, I mean, there's a shit ton of people in my life who I would never even fucking talk to ever again, but, you know, when I knew them, they were still fun people. I just remember those parts. And maybe that's for, maybe that's for the best. Like, I remember it for the kind of strictness that it gave. It was something I could do every night. It was something that I felt like I was good at because all I had to do was stand obediently in a corner for the entire time. Um, but I, I I had fun with it. I wasn't... The, the reason why I asked for the own stuff is isn't there a whole... SFM series based off of own. There is the cult of personality. Maple Hill. And what was 
that if you know. I watched it when I was like 15, dude. I hardly remember what it was, but it was like some loose story about some corrupt medic and blah blah blah. <laughs> we should we should make a react stream to all the other. You want to do that? I'll do that. <laughs> That could I'm be fun. Get, I, I, I'm only going to be like drunk for that, though. I'm not doing that shit sober. Uh, I I wish I could do it drunk. I <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Speaking of being fucked up, hold on. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. He's getting his power. Oh, <laughs> Captain Planet. Ooh, what's... Ooh. This is a pretty map. It's very orange. I like it. It's intermediate, though. Do you want to do intermediate? How many of these do you want to do tonight? Let's just go until we get tired, man. <laughs> I'm all right with that. I, that could actually be all night for me, man. I'm like, I'm not... Which... Where's my <laughs> IP? Oh, shit. Send him God control. damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Hey. I, they changed... Oh, fuck. Wrong button. They um, they changed what it looks like in the Steam uh, overlay menu. Oh, I actually yeah. really enjoy what it looks like now. It's much better than the way more sleek it was before. Old stuff, archaic, memorable but archaic. Now things have things have changed for the better. I just wanted to make sure you got it, Hank. Hey. Do you think there? Are do you wow, this is such a pretty map. Holy fuck. I I like the greens. I like the reds and the oranges and the stark vivid blue. If I had shaders for any game, I I, I like Maple Hill. This looks like a Maple Hill. It's nice. It's nice. I like it. Um Oh fuck, I forgot my train of thought. Manco beer. Tasty. Do you think there are any groups Only like $175? What the fuck? Do you think there are any groups like the SPA still around today? Or do you think that was just kind of like... Uh, a I'm going to say yes. and But only because uh, since Valve has stopped updating this game, the player base of the game has only grown. So I think that there are definitely still groups like that. I mean, Jeruka still has something like that. It's just more yeah. lenient. Uh, something like that from what I saw. Jeruka has a really big community of his own. From last I saw. Interesting. I um never got to know the guy too well though, so I haven't joined his community. But they look like fun people. Uh, I can't. E I I don't know which one it was, but it was one of the leaders of the SPA who got their account hacked, and I Luna, got I three star forgotten. I remember all of them, man. Which one was it? Ah, uh, fuck! It was nine. It was none of those. There was Teddy. There was. It was none of them. Oh, Mud Skipper. Mud Skipper. It, I don't think it was any of those. What? It was, it was one That's of the like all the leadership. Ah, it was someone. And I remember was, Mud Skipper getting his account hacked. Maybe it was him. What I do know is that whoever it was, uh, they basically got it hacked, um, and they pulled the they pulled the scam where like. Oh, I have been promoted to uh, staff, and it looks like you've got duped items on your account. And because I was Hello. like, yeah, yeah, because I was like fucking 15 or 16 at the time, I uh, fell to that scam really hard. Especially considering it seemed like it was coming from someone who had, like, authority over me. Because I was, well, I, I never got past a private in the SPA. So... You Did know. you really never get past private in the SPA? Yeah, I think the fact that I was such a standout... Uh, you never not... talked. Yeah, I never talked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never did... Yeah, I made it all the way lieutenant. I remember that. I just wasn't interactive enough, I guess. It's no big oh, deal. Well. The higher ranks come with different responsibilities, and I was not going to be the type to go to... Yeah, I, I definitely made some people not like me. Yeah, I think I preferred staying a private, ultimately. Yep. I'm glad I'm out of that group. I'd never do it again. I... You know, I mean, you know what? Speaking of things I thought I'd never do that I'm doing again, <laughs> uh, you know what I 
you already know that I started playing uh, VR chat, but um, holy shit, sometimes you can find some mini games on there that are fun, but some of the people you meet on those, holy shit. Uh, I mean, I literally have it to takes mute. Back to the Xbox Live days, Buford. I literally have to mute myself so I can go, holy shit, over like how cringy some of these kids are. I mean, I will literally see this furry couple in the corner. No, no offense to anyone who's a furry, but like, I will literally see like a small little like kid looking furry and a giant one. Those are like making out in the corner and like just fucking whispering sweet nothings in like the middle of like a game lobby with what? kids in it. And I'm That's... just like, like, what the fuck? Are I'll you serious? I'll tell you what it is. Uh, it's exhibitionism, but with anonymity. And that is. That's definitely anonymity is the most powerful part about that. Yeah. I um, what was the I, one example? Um, I joined this like idol hero game that was a thing, and you just get to sit in a lobby with like a bunch of people while you like train your cookie clicker, or whatever the fuck. And um, there were like two of these people in the lobby that were just fucking going at it. I mean, like they were like smooching and fucking like giving all the noise sound effects and. Uh, and uh, at the very end, the dude left. They were talking about how uh, he was going to get off for the night. And she was like, fucking, like, okay, have a good night. And just starts making out with him. Uh, and so he gets <laughs> off. And one of the dudes in the lobby goes like, man, that's really cool to see that you guys got such a cool relationship. And the girl's like, oh, no, we're just friends. He's like 14. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh that's a... <laughs> <laughs> he was what? Oh, shit. I'm I'm resurging a memory actually. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting a huge memory. Before I was even a part of the SPA, uh, before I was a part of the SPA, I was really into My Little Pony. Now I was like 13 at the oh time, so it's God. fine. It's fine. But I've never known this about you. Yeah, I was a huge brony back in the day, and my excuse was I like the villains. I like the I like Discord. I like Queen oh, Crystal. So Julian. I do have a Sona, but I'm 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 gonna reveal that in private, not on stream. The point <laughs> the point is, I went constantly to this one, uh, like this one trade server that was oh four God. bronies. Now that server had a lot of things change about it over the years. It started. Oh my God! I know where this is going. It had an original map. It had, and then it went to a Minecraft trade map. And I would just go there all the fucking time because it was like the crib. It was like the the crib. It was like the place where people hang out. And one time while I was oh, on there, the brody skin to the function. Yep. Uh, one time while I was in there, there was this. There was this. I think she was like a British chick. And oh my god, it's always the British chicks. That's so fucking ba funny. Basically, what you just described on VR chat happened, but because obviously we didn't have any player models, uh, we did that sniper thing where you would look directly up and then scope in oh and scope out. God. It was so fucking funny. You know you can do that. You know you can do that with a soldier if you just quick swap between the original and the and the bison. You can do it with the soldier. <laughs> The point is the story that you just described on VR chat. That is it, so it, fucked. That's so it, fucked. You remember I told you about this <laughs> meta, right? Back in the SBA? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I know. Dude, I was, was one crazy. of her targets. Women you were crazy. Oh my god. Was, oh my god. And it's like like that wasn't like like it's not just a one off. There was um one game that I joined where it's just literally just you find clues around this bus what like drives to nowhere. And uh, there was just this dude and this guy talking, and I, you know, I was eavesdropping because I was nearby. Yeah. Uh, and they were talking about how uh, she was, she really needs to stop talking to this one person that she's talking to. Even though she really enjoyed, she's like, oh yeah, I'm 18 now and I shouldn't be talking to this 14-year-old kid anymore. Who, want, who, like, just invited me to play a game. And she's, like, describing him in a way that, like, you would, like, your boyfriend. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> These people, like, oh my god. They say, they say uh, to keep, they say you are a, um, everybody you meet, your personality is like a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, shit, I'm forgetting the word. I'm so fucking high. Hold on. It's fine, it's fine. You're the average among your friends. Shut up. 
Um, well, it, that is where part of the snake comes from. I, I think it's the idea of... Like, the friends that you make help to influence your own personality, and then you influence their personalities, and it kind of averages out to kind of... It, it, it averages out. You you average out based off... You of are a combination of everyone you meet. That's yeah. the word I'm using. Okay. You, I mean, you will... Every single person you meet, you will pick up, like, a social trait off of them. And you notice it with, like, like oh, you know, picking up someone's speaking mannerisms or picking up a joke that this guy said that you thought was pretty funny. You know? You are a... What the fuck is the word that he used to describe it? It was such a... Oh, my God. A I'm gonna never, no. An it's like an art. It's like an art. Oh fuck! I don't know. What you're, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but I get the idea. Uh, yeah. What are you gonna say? I say collage. No. Hmm. Close though. Hmm. Assemblage. I think it starts with, I almost want to say it starts with a P. It's literally on the tip of my tongue. You are the personification? No, not that. Not that word. Wrong one. Uh, there's someone in my chat tossing out potential words. Uh, mimic. Not plagiarism. No, not zombie. No, not it, it, not it, it starts with a P, he said. Ah, uh, fuck. I, I get what you're saying, though. Like, you are the culmination of all of the people that you've met. You get a little bit of things from everyone. Be them someone you dislike and being influenced to not be like them, or someone you really like and then being influenced to be like them. Something like that, yeah. And what I was getting to is that those people on VR chat literally don't know how to... I feel like a lot of people on VR chat are on there so that they could, you know, sometimes socialize with when they're not very sociable people, if you know what I'm saying. And there's so many of those types of people in there that they learn bad habits off of each other. It's why places... And so stuff like that is, like, more normalized than it sh legally should be. It's why fandoms and other things get toxic. Because a few bad actors start spreading ideas into the rest of it. And if I you love don't... that phrase, bad actors. I hear that being used more and more often lately. It's a good phrase to describe people like that. Yeah. And when these bad actors aren't properly dealt with by being ostracized by the social group, they poison it. They they they, they effectively poison it. They turn it into a, a terrible place by influencing other people to be like them, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And it's kind of awful. It's why you have to put your foot down so hard when you see someone who, at face value, seems to be doing something pretty bad, even though they may not be a bad person. You just don't want those types of habits. Oh my god, what an idiot. Yeah, uh, I, I guess we're gonna get a little uh, taste of this, but then we can continue talking about our ancient history with TF2. Yeah. Because, holy moly. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want to enable those people and those toxic traits you want to you want to work towards denormalizing s hattery yeah oh shit bring back bullies i i'm gonna say this i think that bullying is wrong if it's misdirected if someone is being an asshole a genuine bona fide bastard Bully. Uh, this soldier is so fucking stupid. I I don't I don't think you should bully someone for being a little cringe. I think you should bully someone for being dangerous or malevolent. Yeah, bully people who deserve it. Don't don't just toss it to I people. I mean, that but like think. that's I mean, people don't know who that is. I guess that's like a social. Th I guess that you're right. Okay, that's a ladder that people gotta learn to climb. Okay, right. we gotta kill that giant demo man. So I suppose the question is, if conditional bullying is okay, uh, how do we... How Is it better to just not have it at all? Because if you don't have some sort of... You like, need it. You need it to condition people. Yeah, but there's also the chance that you'll catch... Um, 
you'll catch undeserved people in it. People who don't deserve the flack. You'll get them wrapped up inside of it. Which is... Yeah, I think you're part, thinking too much about this. The, here's part of the problem with it. Is that while you want to exercise caution, too much caution will often end up letting too many people through, so you have to... It's just a necessary evil. You know what I, being spoiled I, is. I you don't really want to... There's, like, I think what you're you're trying to putting it as is that you don't want to spoil people with kindness. I agree. Like, that's, that's what I'm getting at. I think I, that, like, people need to learn, because there are some genuinely fucking evil people out there, so people need to learn small examples of what that looks like. Yeah. And the reason, the reason you have Man. a grown ass no. Why the fuck did this goddamn spy ready up when he did not even do shit? I have no idea why. Eric, what were you gonna say? I say the reason you have grown ass adults acting in stupid ways is because it's worked for them their whole lives. No one ever told them they were wrong. They never had consequences for it. Yeah, those behaviors courage. <laughs> they have been uh, spoiled with kindness. And I don't think you have to be a bad person to avoid that. I just think that... You, you just have... gotta not be naive. Yeah. And also... Be smart. When you are treating other people, be sure to critique them. I'm gonna call it critique. But when you see, when you see someone doing something that is socially... Uh, I'm gonna call it socially inept, critique them. Don't, like, badger them or belittle them for acting a little aloof just tell them hey that's here's what i think about that and other people might also think about that if you aren't careful and i think that's the important thing the difference between bullying and critique critique is super important for making each other better you have to be open to it and you have to be willing to give it you're running out of late because the victims of bullying become so afraid of being bullies themselves that they fail to critique others and they end up being the guilty of being too kind and so they allow a new wave of people to become horrible because they didn't want to be horrible themselves the vicious cycle the vicious cycle but uh taking a trip back to tf2 stories i that was one thing that was one thing that happened um and that was but that i guess that was kind of like the blooming parts of me getting into roleplay which oddly enough was i i i nosedived right into the weird shit i was not given the D, &D <laughs> time of day i was not given the opportunity to just figure out what roleplay was beforehand i fucking nosedived right into the weird stuff because of the fucking brony subculture and all this shit I was exposed to. What happened? Someone just gave you a computer one day and you looked up a website and it just happened? Okay, are we talking about... Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you want to talk about it on stream, I mean, we got plenty of time here. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, so, a lot of my youth was spent behind a computer because it was the easiest way to entertain a family of four kids who were all unable to be controlled. Uh... We, we were all fucking aloof. So a computer just kind of worked. Uh, I would stay with my grandparents all the time because the others wouldn't stay at there all the time and they had a computer. So if we're going to talk about roleplay discovery, the roleplay discovery stuff happened like... Uh, I think what happened was... There was a website called Fig Hunter where it had a bunch of indie games hosted on it, and I was introduced to the prospect of roleplay through that. Okay. That, and it was just kind of like people having their characters fight, and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." And I looked up roleplay, and I and there were these personality chat bots uh, at the time, and I, on a website called Personality Forge, and a good portion of them were dedicated to pornography. So wow. that's how I got introduced to the weird aspect of RP. Really, is that all right to mention on Twitch? What the word pornography? Okay, I guess it's all right if you're saying it twice. I, I would assume so. 
I don't I'm, know. Their guidelines are shitty. Anyways, keep your story going. <laughs> right. So, weird stuff. Got introduced to weird stuff early on. And then I discovered Amigle. And then that snowballed really quick. Um, so, the persona that I... Obviously, someone like me at the time, I wasn't going to say my real deets, you know? But I had this really cringy persona. And I want to talk about him a lot. Because he is the starting place for a character that I have involved in my writing. Uh, this guy, this guy, I I framed him as like a uh, 21-year-old, you know. Oh, that wow. Sort good of thing. start. Good start. Good start. Uh, and then I didn't know what size was. I didn't know what proportions were. So I was just like, yeah, he's, I, I'm seven foot three. Like, that's a normal fucking thing to be. Not comprehending the fact that six foot up ten is huge. So, <laughs> so I went around on that. I, I went around kind of casting this persona. And the best part about it is that I was so not self-aware at the time that... On the same servers I would talk through voice with, I would say I'm 21 and all that stuff. And I would, and the weird part about it is, if if I was just doing that, then I would have expected people to go like, eh, whatever, kid. But they didn't. The part they didn't do that. They went along with it. They they in they encouraged the weird stuff. They cultivated it, and it and looking back on it, I'm like, what the? F I I'm just what the fucking? I'm what the fucking? In this very moment, you're what the fucking audibly. I'm audibly what the fucking. Um, I'm trying to think about all the weird people I came across. The ones that stand out to me the most was uh, a German person who was kind of. Uh, suicide baited a lot. I didn't know if they were. Oh uh, God! I didn't, damn know, it. I didn't know if they were genuinely uh, contemplating oh, oh. this sort of thing, but I do know hey, that. Can you move back so the engine moves it back. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but we do not. We should not push up that far. That's fine. I think he's talking to you, Menace. Can you move back to me? Play the sentry, or rather. Dispenser. I'm having to move the dispenser back here. Okay. So, this person, uh, I don't know if they were genuinely contemplating, and if they are, then my deepest apologies. But looking back, the way it comes off is they were talking about it to a stranger, and it seems like they just wanted an opportunity to, to talk? To kind of get that, get that guilt. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I, I just think it's weird that my voice, at the time, I'm pretty sure was childish enough for them not, uh, for them to have been able to read me like a book. But they never, they never, they never did. And I don't know whether that's active ignorance or they wanted to humor the idea. But if they did want to humor the idea, it's a little a little strange that out of all the people it was, it was, it was, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think a I think a huge I think a huge thing about it all is just I I I really shouldn't have right, they got it. I really shouldn't have been tossed into the deep end on that. I think I think I might have been a little bit better formed if it had come to me slowly, but it didn't. I mean, these are the mistakes we make, and we we become who we are because of them. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Our spy sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's kind of terrible. He's kind of terrible, but, you know, you can't tell him, you can't tell him not to. He's not going to listen. <laughs> also, I forgot to buy upgrades. He's a nice I person, too. He was willing to switch the engineer. I'd rather not insult him. I I completely forgot to buy upgrades. By the way, I, I just dived You're into this. You're so room. lame. Yeah, I know, I know. I was so busy talking about. Oh my god, myself. that made it huge. He's right next to me. And Sentry gone. Okay, here's the things that I should have bought. 
There we go. Uh, help, please. Got demo? Like we can't. We don't have any damage back here. It's just me and the spy. I'm coming up. Well, I'm busy with the front end trying to keep the ads off. Give me, give me, give me those crits. I'm dead. Oh my god, he went right for you. There we go. Fuck. Do you have any? Do you have any stories about your days? Uh, your days of your. I do. I just have to not be focusing on the video game to tell them because I'm. I can't be high and do the ad at the same time. Right. Let's focus on the match um, and then and then get into it. I gotta load them up too. I can't just think of them out of nowhere. So give me some time. I'm still okay. stuck on what that word was from earlier. That's a direct hit. Alabaster, you're so hot. Yep, I got all those meds. We don't even need a spy. That spy's a little gross guy. I actually like the hula a lot better than my brass beast. Oh, very good. Of very course good. you would. Everyone should. <laughs> Ah, uh, now the question is resistances or damage. Um, this is a, what is that axe? I feel like that's going to be melee damage. A lot of this is melee damage, so I can't really buy resistances for it. Is that going to be a pyro, we think? Um, me thinks that will be a very big pyro. So, uh, I guess my first exposure to uh, internet culture, I, uh, I was a very dumb uh, young child baby man. Uh, when I was in intermediate school, I want to say this was, oh, four, no, sixth grade, maybe, or fifth, probably fifth grade, um, I met uh, my buddy Owen. Who I, I don't talk to anymore, but he was fun. Uh, still a cool guy. I respect him, but still talk to him. But uh, he uh, he showed me. I did not have a computer, but he had a spare computer at his house that was like shitty and run down. But I had never played on a computer before, so anything was the best thing ever, you know. Yeah. Um, and so he had this really cool high tech laptop, and we put them right next to each other, and we would play the Pixelmon mod for Pokemon on oh, this one yeah. server that we frequented for like a year and we did this like i went over to his house and did this like every day after school so it was fun as fuck we played games all the time but i remember that specifically that was a lot of fun i love pixelmon i do not like modded minecraft but pixelmon always holds a special place in my heart now if we're talking about first exposures to internet culture uh the first exposures that i really got were ah. Uh, I think the first exposure I really got was on a computer uh, our, our dad had bought, and it was AM. It was Yu-Gi-Oh! GX AMVs dedicated to a character in there. I think her name was called Rosa or something, and it was super. It was super smutty, <laughs> uh, which you know that's another that's another thing of it. Um, giant sniper! Giant sniper! Noted. I gotta get to the medic. Fuck. What is that thing? It's like a wall of death. Does uh, that go through my shield? No, it doesn't. That's good. Well, that was the only one of those things, whatever it was. So, that's that's kind of like one of the first things I got really introduced to for the internet culture. The interwebs. Yeah. And now, AMVs. That's that's what I'm getting at. AMVs started it. You guys never behind us, Hank. And oh fuck! Hello. I do not know where he came from. I'm dead though. So am I. Uh, AMVs eventually segued into uh, Sonic AMVs. Oh. Uh, that's how I. I got... didn't know what you were talking about at first, but now I know. That's how I get into. Uh, that's how I got into things like Lincoln Park and Breaking Benjamin early. And then that kind of segued into a very specific creepypasta 
called uh, Tails Doll. And because my little... Oh, I know that one. Because my little uncultured brain is incapable of understanding mythology and shit like that, I genuinely thought that if I wasn't careful, I was going to slight this paranormal entity and get yeah, myself I was killed. Yeah, terrified of that thing, too, yeah. And that then led into, like, proper creepypasta stuff. Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, all this shit. Slenderman was the only one that actually genuinely scared me outside Did of the Did you back you? Bless you. Uh, and I think the Slender... But, like, the creepypasta Slenderman stuff led into a bunch of other things. What is things. he doing? What the fuck is the end doing? I have no idea. Lumberjack heavies, they aren't even carrying... whatever. One of them got patched. I'm gonna follow him. He did. The other man's left side. Got it. Oof. Fuck. Yikes, they are. Holy fuck. Oh god. Yeah, I'm dead. The internet is a strange place. The internet is a very strange place. They have the bomb. And I feel like our generation being raised by the internet to a degree. Uh, that's, as a, I don't know if that's necessarily. Like, well, raised by the internet. There are definitely some I, people raised by the internet. I was one of the last of at least my generation of millennials to go outside and touch grass. I, I because feel before I, the internet was still dial and Well, not still in the dial-up phase, but not near what it was today. Why are you not melting these Fist of Steel dudes? No clue. Oh, they have Battalion's backup. Well, that makes sense. Oh. Uh, I say raised by the internet. And I guess not the, the entire generation wasn't, but I'd say it's the first A generation. A good fucking portion. Yeah, I'd say it's the first generation that was raised by the internet. Because I know that future ones will also receive the same treatment. So, being the first... Uh, generation raised by the internet I feel like there there has been a lot of examples of what should and shouldn't be done um, I don't think the internet is a place you can curate because it's it... uh, technology I mean what is the best way to curate the internet have an AI for it you know don't let fucking people do that because that's a lot of work and AI technology is advancing really fucking quickly right now yeah I, so I, I definitely think the internet can be curated just i don't i think that i don't think it should i think that it has and will always have its own culture though that's a topic i i discussed with somebody the other day i think that the internet uh truly has developed its own culture like a country would or another people you know yeah like memes came from the internet you know even if, and that is, like, if you can't get more culture than a meme. Even if you can curate the internet, I don't think you should. I, I think that it being a breeding ground of un, like, restricted ideas is quite important. But what I do think people should curate is the viewing experience of their children. I, I don't think that they, any particular child should have completely un moderated access to the internet oh I, definitely not i totally agree i yeah, maybe i was introduced to the internet through uh not so much of big magnetic means but it was cheat codes for like turok that was one and the other was through samurai jack and cartoon Network. i think you should be allow. i think you should be or you should allow your kids to have access to the internet uh, but I just think you should have an ear out. If you think they're saying something suspicious, get involved and ask them what they're up to. Or at least look through their search history. And there's kind of this little awkward thing of actually approaching your child on the topic. And I don't think it should be aggressively. I think it should just be intellectually. Like, if you think your child is starting to get into a bad crowd... Make sure that they and know. The is right there, man. You can make it. Uh, make sure that they know that some people are probably going to feed them some pretty poor ideas. 
and actually talking to your kid about it and making sure your kid is aware that there are bad people on the internet and what to look out for, I think that breeds a culture that is careful, but not paranoid, nor restricted, just self-aware of what they should and shouldn't be doing. Okay. We... The thing is, we've always needed those warnings. It's just, it used to be you had to leave the house to get in danger. Yeah. Um, to say that the generation is raised on the internet, uh, it was said that mine was raised on television, yet we still had to go outside to experience things. We still had to go somewhere to talk to people or be partially raised by the telephone. A form of media will always be accused of raising that them. That is a problem. Forget- the difference with the internet is that it, it's a form of communication. It's you, you don't have to go oh, anywhere to get in trouble. This log is doing a much better job than the brass piece when they're getting close. Agreed. And in terms of media getting blamed for each generation, I also agree on that. I think particular types of media get a lot of blame. It's just the internet, I feel, is slightly different because. Unlike with TV, that can, I, I, I guess, get a little brain rotty or get accused of being a little brain rotty. The internet has a back and forth. It's how you form parasocial relationships. It's how you form friendships. Uh, a back and a back and forth. And but I, here's the thing, I, I don't even think you can say parasocial. It is the news. You know. With how prevalent it is, yeah. But parasocial is, I believe it's also a term that is used for anyone who thinks they have a friendship with someone they've never interacted with, like celebrities and such. So okay, I, that, that can also be yeah. for television as well. It's just parasocial relationship, I think the internet has given it quite a bit of strength. Or, Anyways, I think you should just keep an eye on your kids. Uh, make yeah. sure that if they're in danger, uh, just make sure that you know if there's any danger ahead, and make sure that they know. It's better that way. And remember, Chef, you'll know your kids better than they will know themselves. Sometimes you gotta crack the whip. Because sometimes words will fail. Yeah, a little bit. Oh fuck! Next wave. Yeah. <gasps> tank. There's a tank. Yes! He's active! Ah, uh, neuron activation! Leave that tank to me, boys. I'm going to slap it a bunch of times and it will die. Yes. No. No. No, the tank's mine! It's mine! Shoo! I see what you're doing and I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I one of the one of the things I love about TF2, or at least like streaming TF2, is I have always get into this kind of podcasty mindset where I just I love podcasts. I love just sitting out and talking to my buddies. I do that every moment I fucking can. I just did that today. I love talking to people. I I, I want that. I want to do that professionally. I want to. I want to. Oh man, wasn't everybody? Yeah. <laughs> we have two demonites. Uh, yes. Hey, uh, All right. hey, Autismo. I guess it's better than a spy. It's better than a spy. It's be- You're better than a spy, but also, you're stepping on my turf, little buddy. You're stepping on my turf. He does not, he has non-optimal loadout. He's got a grenade launcher on, I think. It would seem so. He's got something on. He's not getting as much health as you. Yeah, he doesn't have the Alibaba's on. Wow, that is a lot of suck that's going to be coming left. Hank, they're going to drop right on top of you right now. Okay. Yeah, th- I don't think this Demon Knight has any idea what he's doing. Go work here, brother. He's trying his best, but his, uh, his best is not as the best as the rest. Oh, shit. I'm down. And of course, uh, like all of our, all of our experiences are all in retrospect. 
We can we can say what we want about how we think we should have been raised or all that stuff, but you know, uh, at, at a point, it's like there's no not much that can be done except for you know ex making it known in acceptance. Just being aware. Every child thinks they could do better than their parent, whether that be through a parent's mistakes or improve upon what the parent has done or done. That's just the point of the generations. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe it is just a thing that everyone. Oh, uh, that's a lot of bombs. Oh, you got a giant scout on the way. Hey! Oh, hey, little Pyros. Autismo, fuck off. Thanks, mine. Yeah, Autismo, do anything else. Oh. Thanks, mine. Yeah, he's not optimized. He's nowhere near tank killing. Ah! <laughs> okay, well, just shut the. <laughs> The motherfucker. Man, we're good at we're getting good at MVM. We're getting very good. I don't know if he's a fucking canteen that way. Ah, uh, should I go blast? I'm thinking I should go blast. Yeah, yeah I'm going blast. Fuck those 28 demo men with the 7 battalions backup soldiers. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. 16 regular soldiers, 2 and 2 crit soldiers, mini crit soldiers. Hell <laughs> 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 yeah. Not even worried. No reaction, light work. On topic, Menace? What was the first time you guys had a Sex? Yesterday. Experience. Menace, what was the experience? <laughs> Neurons firing. Uh, okay, so, like, the first ooh, likey likey experience? Is yes. That... Okay. Um. I think I dis. Uh, I don't know if it's distinct enough to call the first time, but I think. That the first time my neurons truly fired in my head was during that phase of uh, being a part of the Yu-Gi-Oh community. I, I fucking love the Monster Girls of Yu-Gi-Oh, man. That act, that activated my neurons. That fuck it, that got everything started. Like the, the Yu-Gi-Oh waifus. That started everything. Um. Uh pyro has got that. Let's focus on the boss. <laughs> I, I was dead in spectator. You're like, Pyro's got that. And he's just getting fisted by a horde of holiday heavies. <laughs> yeah, Pyro, Pyro's got it, I guess. Yeah, if I still used Brass Beast, I would not have been able to find him. Uh. I can't protect you forever. I know. He's taunting like a fool. Yes. We're so hot. Right to Spencer placement. Yeah, my my first like real neuron firing moment was with Yu-Gi-Oh waifus, but that uh, that eventually changed to uh, so uh, like Sonic waifus because of the natural progression of things. But if you really want to get down to it, yeah, the, got the, the true blue one, it was when I was first introduced to anime. Uh, my Damn, first, really? Yep. My first introductions... That's getting too far. My first introductions were Soul Eater and Fully Cooly, which oh. uh, Blair the Cat and uh, the Vespa Chick, yeah. those <laughs> gave me my taste in uh, women. Yeah. Soul Eater would do it. Soul Eater. Yeah. Man. You're alive! 
what? The store I'm hiring actually was in a very weird time of my life, where I, I was about ready to exit elementary school, and uh, it was a channel that I had just kind of discovered at the time that I I knew about what sex was, but I didn't really have a puberty type of experience because I was only 11 years old at the time. But it was on uh, the guest room that we had for my grandmother. And she had this really tiny TV that was probably no bigger than uh, my forearm at the time. And it was one of these TV channels they had on at the time that I was just browsing the TV channels. And eventually, I came across something that was basically a Playboy-esque channel. But... The reason I remember this so distinctly is that this was still back during the day, days when picture on TV wasn't always guaranteed. So what would happen with these old TVs is that there would be, uh, just like with rewinding a VHS tape, of static lines across the TV so you could barely make out what the form or person was, but there was just enough to where this would go to the point of that I would eventually be able to see the naked boobies Fuck yeah. and the snatch on sight. Uh, I think... Yeah. That's... Kill that medic. I, I think we've all had a little bit of that experience discovering the ability to, to watch active stuff instead of looking at pictures. Oh, I... Needless to Are say, Jack, I have grown Maybe? a more sophisticated taste since then. We've all got a little bit more sophisticated. I don't know, my true neuron activation, I was probably eight or nine. You don't need it. Um, I, I had an active gun by the time I was nine and a half. Um, and it was either Cleo from the Cadillac Cats or Penny Gadget. I can't remember which one. Penny Funky Gadget. Good choice, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, was, I was nine. Did you were smart? <laughs> oh, smart chicks, man. I think Cleo is a straight up junkyard cat. You know, full on, full on furry intro there. Well, I don't know. For that case, it might have been Disney's animated Robin Hood. Yeah. <laughs> Holy uh, I shit, I just had a huge flashback memory. Yeah? I think I know exactly what was the first neuron activation because there was a couple of incidents that were like, oh man, look at that, that's cool. But I think I know exactly what it was. It was when I was in kindergarten and it was the corpse bride. Oh yes, that would do it. Because, because, I, I think forever and a half I have been into Monster Girls. I have, also, I have also been into taller women... And I've also been into ones who are obsessively loving. That's just like the the trifecta that goes on in my head. And Corpse Bride fits out all of those things. But I was one of the cringy people who were like uh, imaginary girlfriend stuff. Because, you know, I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't even know what the fuck a girlfriend was. So my first imaginary girlfriend was the Corpse Bride when I was in kindergarten. And I think that's Man, genuinely worth I, don't, worse I do not me. think I ever had an imaginary girlfriend, dude. That's because you aren't cringe. You aren't cringe like I am. No, I was pretty fucking cringe, but I don't think I was that cringe. Yeah, I was super ultra giga cringe. Oh my god. Oh no, guys. I. Uh, <laughs> not quite back that far back, but mine had more of a late bloom because I, in, in the freshman year of high school, was talking to other people about making a whole game about where you could go romantically date and then fuck your waifus. <laughs> oh, 
porn D&D. That, that was in... I was thinking about becoming that man in game development. Dicks and dongs! <laughs> Hank? Oh. I wasn't gonna be able to die. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I at least I would have survived. The porn version of Dungeons and Dragons. I feel like someone has got to have done that already. Yeah, it's been done. But now, here's a question. Who the fuck would do that? Like... Me. No, no, no. Let's, <laughs> let's think about this genuinely. When you get into a D&D &D group, it's usually with your friends. You gotta right. be pretty fucking open to do porn D&D &D with the rest of your friend group instead of doing Fade the Black stuff. You know what? My buddy offered it to me. No, 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 all right, all right, so, so, my newest session that I just joined, it's pirate themed, um, and my buddy and I have a bet, uh, that my character, who has the most charisma out of everybody else in our party, is going to initiate, like, fucking, like, a fade to black sex scene, that's my goal. He says that he will not do the fucking deed, however, he will do a fade to black sex scene and act out all the way up to the fade to black sex scene. And he's never had to do it before because all of our friends are like socially inept people that play Dungeons and Dragons or something. However, I am determined to get him in the awkward situation. That that's really funny. Um, yeah, uh, Fade. Carter. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh my god, there's a fucking Sir Nukes a lot. All right, that's all you get. Uh, yep. Thank you. Got problems. I think I think Never the, mind. They I, died. I think the idea of sexual content in D and D is fine, but it has to be limited to the fade the black sex. Uh, yeah. If you go beyond that, you start getting into a little Weird. bit of an awkward uh, an awkward territory. But I I, feel I, I like, make jokes about how I want to like eat out this guy's ass all the time. He's a good friend. I feel like the awkwardness only comes up if it's not something that the entire group is okay with. But you're not really going to find a group that's okay with that. Ah! He knocks you back far, watch out. Oh, he's getting dunked. He's getting destroyed. Ow! That was easy as shit. Alright, next map. Yep. Find us a new one, Chief! Um, how does... Oh, this one's just called Siberia. Not not more than a couple of hours ago, we were talking about the, <laughs> the SPA. Those aren't correlated. Not at all. Not correlated at all. Um... What else were we talking about? I think we're just I think talking. Hank asked a question and I didn't answer it. When was your neuron activation moment? When was the first thing you like realized what you were into? Um, like into into sexually or like into as a hobby? I think he was talking about yeah, sexual. Yeah. Um. This is definitely interesting, but I just have to think of it. He's got a conjure it forth from the. It plane. was definitely anime. I'm just trying to think of which one it was. Exactly. High school DXD. High school DXD. That's my answer. Oh. I watched high school DXD when I was like 15. No, I think <laughs> younger. Um, no, I actually am. Um, I did not discover what sex was until I hit puberty. I was kept very pure for a very long time. Uh, I do remember, um, oh shit, in second grade, I had a buddy named Walter. Oh my god. Walter. Walter had drew like two circles on a piece of paper. And he was like, dude, do you know what this is? And I'm like, dude, is it like a butt or something? He's like, no, they're boobies. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Oh my god, this is one of the cool ones. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, We're giants! Like, oh, Holy shit. Dude, okay. this could only be good. Hold on, I'm being an uber yeah. medic. Yeah. <laughs> Death will be heavily penalized. Oh, dude. I do not like that. 
We're fucking giants. Build for longevity. Build for longevity. I'm actually gonna put on a quick fix. I feel like that would be much better. Yeah. Um. <laughs> very funny. Very oh my God, funny. A giant heavy. When you said when you said uh, high school DXD, I had a I had a slight uh, I had a slight panic attack because I thought you were about to say high school of the dead, and I was like. Oh! High School of the Dead is such a fucking weird anime. Like, it's hair. It was the hardiest zombie show I've ever seen. It's like zombie zombie stuff, uh, basically zombie apocalypse. But instead, it's like two guy protagonists: one who you're supposed to root for, and the other who is like a fat nerdy dude. Uh, and then all of the other characters are huge boobas! Huge boobas characters! Uh, well, except for the token lolly. Yeah, which is not cool. I don't even I think... Only buy upgrades. I think they're disabled for now. Oh shit, upgrade station is disabled. We might get uh, them next dude. round. Yeah. If we want to, we got someone joining. I want to wait for him to join. I want more yeah. robots. I feel like it's going to be difficult. We got to deal with this shit ton of stuff early. Yeah, yeah. Um, shit. Uh, so high school DXD. Um, I think I watched a anime YouTuber that just uh, back when I just wanted to find more animes that extend my palette. I found this one YouTuber who uh, would do like lists of like best anime of this variety, and one of them was like oh, best sexual anime and i was like ooh it's sex boobies Ew, so like, animes. uh and one of the recommendations was high school dxd i'm like wow there's just straight up boobies in that one and then he looks like he's getting a blowjob so i watched it and i watched it a lot i watched it a lot i rewatched it a lot because my parents back then very frequently checked my search history now now we uh we we're talking about like neuron activations, but I think one of the strongest moments was when I discovered what what like monster girls were. Before then, I always had an idea because there was people like Blair the cat, there Where's was the there was Jenny from My Life as a Robot, and all this other stuff. They were monster girls, right? But I never really knew what that meant. And then I fell down the rabbit hole for Monster Girl Encyclopedia. And that's how I discovered what Monster Girls were. And that's how I lost my fucking mind. <laughs> um, and something I find that I, I want to acknowledge about it is in the current day, now that I know what Monster Girl Encyclopedia is and how it functions, it's incredibly bad. It's, it's got like a ton of really bad shit inside of it ranging from just blatant sexism to uh sexual assault apologetics and monster types that are borderline illegal um but i feel like it also stoked the flame of monster girls on the internet because a lot of the things that you think about started there and hey, up. yeah uh, I mean, I guess in terms of my particular niece, let's go. I can trace that back to an old cartoon called Jason and the World Warriors, where there was a, a girl that was made out of a flower. And then years later, a voice like Eric Count, where there were dry ads, and then of course the internet with all these depictions. I'm like, yeah, yeah. If I could pick one, that's the one. <laughs> Got this, Hank! Please make sure I don't die! Just stick behind me! Okay. I don't just eat my vegetables anymore. <laughs> you fuck some. Yeah, quick fix was definitely the way to go with this. Uh, if you could get a little closer. Over to me. I'm over to me because I almost have charge and I can kill all of us. Okay, I'm over. I'm not vegan because I love animals, I'm vegan because I'm attracted to plants. <laughs> oh, god. oh god, I'm in the danger zone! I'm in the danger zone! By the way. Thank I'm you! Here. I'm here, you're gonna live!
Please come closer to me. There you go. I need to kill you. Do not die. Thanks, Doc. I almost have Uber. If I come there closer to you, in your eye. Gotta heal everybody. Yep. Oh, that's my charge. Oh. That devil man is definitely gonna die. Good luck, Hank. That guy over there is an idiot. But oh, we got giant shotguns. You do not do a lot of damage for a giant. Well, it's, uh. I'm able to hit multiple oh. targets in an area, which is a huge thing for me. But also, I don't have very much damage upgrades at a base. Yeah, but I need healing fast. Uh, alright, Hank, I'm on the way. Take a temporary retreat. Okay. I'm about to die. I almost have Uber. You're gonna get it. There you go. Quick fix can be good sometimes. Yeah, no, we kicked their asses. I'm gonna follow Hank for a bit. Got it. Uh, you can pick up health kits. They help a lot. Yes, I, I, I saw. Yeah, because they do not like me. I'm going to save Uber again. Hello, boy, ready? Oh! Sorry about that. That's a master! <laughs> that fucking flies me! <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> I'm about to go. Uh, here I go. How long is the respawn timer? I'm about to see. Uh, 240 seconds. Or I can pay like 115 credits to get in. I'm not going to spend that. I'm just going to wait. You guys seem to have this. Hank, I'm coming! I need heavy backup! Coming! Look at you guys go, fuck. Alright, I'll buy my way back in. Almost! Almost! Kill them! Kill them! Yeah, but I need health first. Hello, I am on the battlefield. I am taking damage. Oof. Oh my god, Hank. I'm not hero. Die. I'm gonna die too. Uh, we need back up. We need to back up. We need to back up. Okay, thank you. I need to heal as well. Can you, uh, okay, never mind, you're good. I almost have Uber. There you go, we're good. We can go back in. I love the reverse MBM shit. It's so fucking. This is so much fun. Our boy almost has it. We just gotta defend a bomb site. Go camp their spawn. We got it. Hey! Someone bought back Lamau. I bought back once. We can't upgrade. <laughs> Are you guys able to upgrade? No. Uh, fucking mission description. Oh, he going pyro. Oh my god, Giant Engineer, that's gonna be funny. That's either gonna be really funny or totally useless. Or it's, broken it, as it's probably fuck. gonna be. <laughs> or broken as fuck. None of us can, but. I think that's just like custom rules for this shit. I, um, I want to check out how my Crusader crossbow affects you next time I can. I think it's much stronger than it is usually. 
Got it. It shoots five bolts at once, and they heal a shit ton now. That may be the way to go. Mm hmm. I mean, I'm gonna be doing that a shit ton if that's the way. It Let's begins. Go! Those sentries have to be dealt with before I can really do much. I can't help you, man. You are too far. Oh my god. I Is pray that, that you, you live. I, okay, am I within range? Yeah. Hit me with those crossbows. Everybody, there's a shit ton of- alright. You move, you piece of shit! <laughs> it's gotta- it takes forever to reload. Okay. You're Uber, just keep on going. Oh yikes, that is a lot of damage, dude. Oh my god, what is all of that damage co oh that's a sentry. Oh my god, it's out of ammo. Oh, is that from the giant NG? Do they have a giant NG? We have a giant. They have a giant flog Those pyro. Giant NG doing it. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's melting. Hank, I cannot meet you over there. You are too far. He's dead. You got him. You got him. How much health do you have? Do you need to heal? I could be topped cool. off. Give me a second, I gotta get this to the soldier, and then I'll give you some. I think the, go. uh, the use... I need you to be the healthy one. In four. Yeah, I think the giant engineer is useless. He just built in regular level threes. Uh, I I believe they give you a ton of money so that you can buy back in. Oh my god! The giant soldier can rocket jump. Oh cool. Ooh, how much did that heal you, Hank? Not much. Oh, that's still a little bit more than I thought it would. Oh. Ooh, you were taking damage. I almost have Uber. Just still have his quite strong. There you go. I should be able to deal with them once I'm to the front. Hello, yes, I am here. Oh, he's just a regular sized engineer. Dog, are you gonna live that? Okay. Just barely. And now you're gonna go a sentry? Oh my god, I gotta help that pyro. God bless that pyro. He's definitely dying, though. You are all such low health. I wish I could heal all of you. Ah! What do you about oh, that? Hank, yes. Yes, Hank. Big and strong. Holy carry on. Ah, the pyro is on one hundred health. I will safeguard you, my friend. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, the monster, get out of there! Yeah. You're gonna live! We are about to lose people. Like, a lot of people. Everybody is low on health. I died.
Bless you, Pyro. You're making my attack stronger. <laughs> Very good, very good. This is tough. Oh, we got it. Jesus. Heavy, heavy damage. Still no upgrades. Damn. Why do we get this money for? Is it just the buyback? I think it's just for the sake of buyback. I think I'm keeping everybody alive, doing my job well. Uh, I am going to see how Islander does. Mission info, uh, item attributes. Where did you go? I got sent to the other side. Oh shit. Oh, there's the pyro. What the pyro's doing over there by his lonesome. The giant NG is tiny. He's a little guy. I don't! He's small! He's tiny! Get rid of him! He's the runt of the litter! Oh my god, they are strong. You long heater was oh definitely Oh my way gosh! Go. <laughs> From what? From all of them! Oh, that. Oh, all of that. them. I face planted any good for you. almost killed Hank. What, what was killing me, Buford? It was the demo man. Fuck, I'm forced to buy back. Dog, we are trying to live right now. Hank, I'm really giving you everything. Oh shit, you can collect heads as the giant demo. That's neat. That's fun. Fuck this. You're back, Hank. They got Uber. Like Uber Giants? Yes. Oh, yikes. Huge yikes. <laughs> that pirate was taking a lot of hits for you. Mm. I'm giving you this whole Uber, dude. I just, I just don't do enough damage. Not enough damage. I'm really putting my whole chest into it. Throw your scouts! Oh no! Uh oh! 
there I go. I think this is my last buy-in. I think I'm about to be stranded in, uh, in respawn hell. I'm gonna have to play this carefully. Thank you, Saint. I'm doing my best to cover the pyros. Body blocking is underrated. Body blockers in the house tonight. Everybody have a good time. Ow! Bad sentry! Oh, so much better. You bastard. <laughs> I, 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 knew, I knew it was happening. Oh, fuck. You run like a little girl, dude. Is that what little girls sound like? I guess. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna eat them hits! Give me them hits! Focus me, you big bastard! Bank, I'm coming out to you. Yikes, alright. I'll die, but you'll live. Nope, nope, you stay back. Yep, I'm trying. <laughs> I am officially dead. Dead, dead? Yeah, I don't think I have the money to buy back in. I almost hit Uber Hank. Right, get in there. Make me proud, boys. We won. Very nice, sir. Still can't buy shit. A large storm has been detected in the area. I expect low visibility and high winds. Damn, this is gonna suck. Uh, Ready? I... Oh, we're taking frost damage on top of. I am going to give half Satoichi a shot. I'm gonna say we're gonna get like slow movement and low visib visibility. Hey Menace, do you see a do you see a katana in my hand? Am I carrying something? No, you're T posing. Oh fuck! I think they did they ban has the Toichi? Oh, Mission info. Uh, item whitelist. Da, 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 da. Well, I guess I I'm, am ready. I guess I'm about to fucking find out whether I've got a. Oh, I will feel for me. Okay. Oh, it's... we got tanks. Oh fuck. Okay, so I don't have a weapon. Whoa. Well, you are a posing, dude. Yep. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna play tank now. I'm not going to heal you, no offense. Yeah. Just yeah. so you can die and get your shit back. Well, if I die, it's gonna be 300 seconds before I respawn. I'm distracting them. <laughs> Watching the giant pyro nod at me is so fucking funny. <laughs> Where is he going? He's leaving. Okay, turning back to something that I can actually fucking use. Ah, and we had just enough credits for me to build. Just enough credits. Just enough credits. 
してます。Thank you for the support, soldier. I know, I know. Well, back to the front. Oh, that's why they w don't want you to have the katana. Because they're going to throw katanas at you and you don't want them instant killing. Okay. Well, that stinks. All right, you little bastard, fuck off. Destroy the stations to disable the auto gun. Man, both of our soldiers are below a thousand. Soldiers back up just to go. Gotta go tank. I got him. Lead the charge, Hank. Oh, you got a giant heavy. To your right. I'm working on one of the, uh, <clears throat> one of the control stations. Oh, I'm being shredded. Oh, yep, 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 yep. There you go. Oh my god, everybody's in the red. <laughs> and they're trying to push a fucking sentry gun. You guys are gonna have a giant heavy on you soon. We're going to have way more fucking problems than a giant heavy soon. Everybody's about to die here in a second. Soldiers yeah. down. That guy saved my body. Duh. I'm dead. Yeah, because that heavy's gonna melt you, dude. No, he ain't! Run towards your team. Oh. Giant's on the way. Get him. He's melting this soldier. Okay, I, have to the fuck up. I don't think I'm gonna be good for uh, the big boys. I think. Yeah. Guys, gonna... got an army of scouts on the left side. I think I'm gonna be. Cra I think I have to be crowd control. It looks like crowd control is what I'm stuck at. Oh, crowd, crowd control. I just got my ass kicked by a crowd. I don't know what Demonite is good for in this. Medic picking. Not even bad. That pyro is eating shit. Getting himself a little dunk. Alright, I'm going to try and bully one of the control panels. Maybe that'll be my purpose. Support. In in the fashion of destroying specific targets. Yep. How the fuck is this pyro still alive? Black magic is what is keeping him alive right now. Wizard! He's a wizard! Oh, that's one. What just happened? We destroyed one of the control panels. I'm going over oh. to another. What's the block, Alabaster? 
This is my duty. My duty. I'm finally doing something helpful. How much health you got left? Hi, Hank. Hello. I'm not the best, but I am something. Oh man, what the fuck is this? You're not the best. You're the very best. Like no one. Oh my gosh. Alright. Um I, I we got special fancy music too. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Okay, yeah. let's, let's fucking go for it. This is gonna be ass for a demo night. I'm just gonna say it right now. The alternative is anything better. <laughs> uh, we kind of have all our roles filled, unfortunately. Do what you want, girl, but... Be wary. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh some, what the fuck? Oh, someone died. That means I could change. You going pyro? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Giant pyro. Gyro. Giant spy. At least your flames are highlighting them in the fog. Oh, that's smart. That's the steel heavies. I'm putting my pedal to the metal! And they're putting their metal on my pedal. I'm gonna grist them! A fuck ton of scouts! I'm going to die! That's the rest of my Uber, good luck. Oh my god, there's fucking... Uh, Hank, turn around, kill them! Thank you. I'm about to get nuked. Could you get me a little bit of healing? Thank you. Hank Bold. Pushing forwards. Just gonna real quick yeah, uh, back, give him the good. Wow, dude, you are taking damage. I am not going down there with you. Thanks for the injection. I'm this looks like it's not your job, man. Yep. I you think gotta I... find a flank route. You gotta find a flank route. Alright. Oh, Hank's Hank's up close. 
He's getting brave. Oh my god. Oh my god, he Hank. Oh it. my god. Hank, you king. <laughs> <laughs> the wacky bastard. Sometimes you gotta it's take the unconditional risk. Into red spawn. Yeah, I believe we gotta go up here. Oh, not here. Yep, I think you have to go up. Oh, our demonite's going for it. Escape to what the is game. happening? Okay, we have to escape. We got the boss. We got a boss. We have a boss. No, no, we, we have to escape. I think. Oh, there is a there is giants blocking the way. And I am officially dead. Alright, Hank, I'm staying with you. Oh, wow, that is melting. You got this. Good luck, gentlemen! I'll respawn when I can. A he gal. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Look at you. Look at you guys. Fucking go. Oh shit. That your soldier's about to drop. I know. Okay. You gotta back up, Hank. Keep going. Don't stop. I know. I know. Yikes! I'm taking the hits. I do not need to be doing this. Super, back up! I'm trying! I do not move fast! <laughs> it's dead. You're good. Oh. I'm alright now. You got this. Just had a lethal dose of horse tranquilizer. I'm so fucking ready. Yeah, baby! That is troubles, Bubbles. I'm getting close to the point where I can respawn, by the way. That dude is huge. Alright. I've respawned. I'll make my way to you, boys. Uh, I think you have at least one more boss, by the way. I'm healing you. I'm trying. Everybody needs it. Guess who's back in the battle? Me! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I died immediately! <laughs> Get that health kit. Yes. Fucking devil, that's scary. Uh, they've got a big boy that I'm pretty sure can instantly kill any. Well, he didn't instantly kill, but he does a lot of damage to even giants. I'm dead. Look at you go! We got a bum rush. Oh, the guard has been destroyed. I'm making a beeline. Super, can you carry me on your wheel? No, I'm too small. 
Oh shit, I think you two are the last ones. No, this was a terrible idea. They are- I, they have a brutal guard watching. I think time's running out. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it. How has time not run out yet, actually? I don't know. It said 30 seconds before, uh... Before I really need help. I'm going to die. You ain't hurting him. He's my brother. He's my, he's my, uh, he's my friendo, my brother, my cousin, my guy. Yeah, I think this is it. I am going to set up for next. Oh shit, heavy. All right, we got to be faster. Yeah, next time around, I've got a, I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do. Do you need to lose one more person? We definitely do need one more person. We'll wait for two more. This is gonna be fun. I'm wondering if there are any better options. I don't think we need Crits Creek. We need healing. Yeah. I mean, how good would Crits Creek be? I I don't think it would be as beneficial as all the healing would be. Yeah. I I mean, I these later parts of the waves, there isn't a single person above red health. I'm doing a lot of work. I have a hundred and fourteen thousand healing. How quickly would the uh, crit screen charge, though? Not as quickly as the quick fix. Got it. I have no upgrades, too, so this is literally as good as it gets. No upgrades for us. Simple boys. Simple boys. I wish we could buy upgrades, man. Uh, I, I, I feel wouldn't... like that would trivialize us a little bit, though. The fact that we're doing this well without him... Yeah, I mean, we're going... F we're doing fine. Are you also sure you want to go Demo Knight? Oh, I'm not Demo Knight this time. I am... Uh, oh, Demo Man! I'm using, wow. I'm using the loose cannon. I oh, wow. I don't know if it'll do anything special, but... How much ammo does it have in its mag? Two. Oh, wow. Ooh. Me think bombs. Me think big exploder. Ooh. You want to pre... Nah, I was thinking of preemptively readying up to give it a give it a shot to see what exactly this equipment does, but I don't think that would be a good idea. No, especially with four. Four yeah. ain't gonna be good enough. Dog, you have no money. Yeah, I know. I I, I am. I've had to buy back in so many times. <laughs> uh, fuck. You know how much cash I'm sitting on? Like four thousand. Seven K. Oh man, you've been you've been you've been saving up. I haven't bought ways. back once. You are well, a wealthy man. Well, except for last week. Uh, <laughs> have you have you guys seen the giant demo man's little? <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of funny. It's a little funny. My simple little brain. Hmm. I don't know how long we're going to be hanging on this. And I'm isolated. You guys are over there. Well, I'm just stuck over here. What it was you... meant to be this way. It was meant to be this way. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Let me over. I don't. I don't wanna be alone. Eh. Can they even put the upgrade station here if the upgrades are disabled? Are there other mission types for this?
No, this is the only rev. There's an expert in advance, but... I feel like we can give it a shot. Alright. Well, there's no one else really coming. Alright, let's see what this cannon does. Oh! oh. oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, damage. It does a lot of damage. How much? Uh, at most, I'm seeing 276 per tick. Shoot it at your feet. Get rid of these scouts. Got it. It's not instant kill worthy, but I think that's just because I don't have... Definitely kills a good group of them, though. Yeah, it's taking care of the little guy. We're about to get rid of all the scouts. That does so much damage. There's an engineer behind you. I'm going to die. I need to help, kid. I'm cutting through the smog with my big bombs. Bars. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> There's a few Demonites behind you guys that I can't get rid of. I, I'm gonna try and get rid of them. Oh jeez. I am particularly low on health. I'm healing you. I wonder what happens when I charge my cannon up. I'm going for a health pack. Oh. That's what happens. I take damage. There you go, all better now. Thank you. Okay, I You're think gonna drop down on them again, Hank? Maybe. Hold on, let me come up with you. Keep them distracted. He is, uh, he is targeting uh, I was on hang. might be a bit harder because it's a rapid fire. Come up here. Yeah. Yeah. I got them donks. Backpedal. Right? Now we just backpedal? Yeah, let's go. Let's get a set start now before everything spawns. Well, we have to get Oh, that's right. I'm in. Let me deactivate it. I don't know how, but I'm going to figure it out. Soldier, please. How how do I deactivate this thing? I don't know. Oh, I have to stand near it. Okay. I've got it. Alright. Oh, this is... It's going to be good.
That soldier's gonna die. Ow. All right. They will not touch you, Buford. So long as you stay Uber. behind me. I'm coming over, lads. Hello. Monk. Go ahead and grab that med pack. Oh, wait. I don't need it. Oh, fuck. Damn, my bad. Yep. Oh, yikes. He's critzed. Oh, wow. He hurts. I'm okay, hurting. I need to go back. I'm gonna take the health kit, but I'm gonna heal you. I need it more. You can get the next one. I can get this one over here. Come on, I got this. I like how I like how you scream in fear. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to do this without a medic. Don't shoot it at that fucking pyro. Got it. Got I've almost got Uber. I fired two crits at him. If you kill the little, if I kill the little guys, Ow. Uh, I'll have enough time to fire at least two crits at him. We just gotta make it to the end. Let's move. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to die here. My 79 kill streak. I died. Damn it. So close. I don't have enough to buy back in. Fuck. However, I do know that the loose cannon is ahead, pretty freaking good. I like enthusiasm. Look at your fucking go! Yeah. player. Well, at least I at least I know what I'm doing this time. And next time around we'll have one more person helping us push through. How the fuck did I get up here? Uh, there's a jump pad, I believe. Oh. I want to give it another go. We did pretty good on our own, having an extra hand on deck. It might be all that we need. I think it'll be all that we need. Also, 
Uh, if if I kill someone with the swing, it gives me a long enough crit time to pull out the loose cannon and fire it twice, which does dumb damage. It does super stupid damage. So I need to do that from now on. Who's our sixth? This guy. We got one more coming in called Dotty. And he is a giant spy! <laughs> is that a thing? Uh, who knows? Maybe he'll be able to sap them on mass. I... I want to ask if you could go Crit's Creek to loose cannon crit them the entire time, but that's... I... we need the healing more. Yeah, yeah. Doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. I'm gonna see if I can crit kill one of them with a melee attack. Uh... Dude, I go so much further than you when you charge. Crit time! It's a steel back up. I'm gonna hit the ground. Help me! Yep. <laughs> Thank you. As long as you stay out of combat for short periods of time, I can heal you for even more. The spy's actually doing very well. What is he doing? No, he's actually killing some of the mid to size that are annoying. Okay, I can't tell. I'm just sitting in the back line. I'm going to go up with you. Okay, when you swing, it doesn't stop you from charging. I've got an uber save for us. Alright. Bum rush. I got him. Or not. Okay. I'm gonna help the little guy, Cap. Oh, I got I most of them. I got most of them. I need a health kit. I need a health kit, like, yesterday. Let's go find one. Wait, fuck, I didn't heal you that time. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wanted, I'm trying to get Hank in my sights. Uh, come on. There is a full health kit right here. Yep. You walked right past it. Oh, I was more concerned with the soldier.
Is Ike up here? Yes, he is. I need to kill at least one of the little guys. Almost got Uber. So close! Oh my god. Something behind me is melting me. Wait, Buford, over here! The big boy's down! Giants can't fit, we gotta go to the other one! Only the spy and the engine can go through. I'm dead, good I'm luck. At the, I'm at the gate! I got in! My useless ass is the last man standing. <laughs> me and me and the spy are uh are getting a cap. Hey, you're in. Hello. Hi, Hank. Decided to go a bit faster and use the shotgun. All right. Does it actually give you speed boost? Oh, it does. We won it. That was fun. Fantastic. Man, that was fucking tough, though. Yeah, the the death penalty is pretty intense. All right, changing maps. We're going to Giza. We're gonna have some fun on it. I think the reverse rounds are the most creative ones that they've tossed at us thus far. It's so much fun. <laughs> like the normal stuff is pretty okay, but the reversed ones have been the most interesting. It's crazy how they've gotten it to work. Yeah, I... I just... Hmm. I just wish they would allow you to be a giant and buy upgrades. Throw some really Ooh, broke... I can. I, I just wish... Money sometimes. We got some money sometimes, but we haven't been able to buy upgrades as a giant. Yeah, but we could in, like, other games... Well, not as a giant, you're right. Not as a giant. And I feel like that would be really fun, as long as they are throwing some really hard stuff our way. That was pretty fucking hard, though. It was endless giants at the end. It was. I, and I think it was mainly because of the fact that we could buy upgrades. Ooh, a thousand! Let's see. This map looks whack. Pretty fancy. Can't really tell where the bots are coming. Oh, eh, there it is. Okay. Just need to get out. Egypt, but MVM. That's what this is. That's cool. That looks pretty cool. It's very schneet. Oh, these are all advanced. There's a six... Uh, there's a... What the fuck is the center part? I have no clue. It's a little bit of a maze. It's a capture point. Uh, I, I don't know what that would allow them to do, though. Dude, maybe they'll crawl out of the sand. They're gonna rise from the sand. Ooh, that is kind of ass. <laughs> I'm serious. This is ass. This man fucking stinks. It's a it's a little stinky. It's a little alcoholic cat. Very bad. I do not like. I. 
No, dude, there's like no cover here for me. No cover. Only high places. Just walls. No fucking edgy. The fuck. Yeah, that's not the map's fault. No, it's always the map's fault, Alabama. No the map is supposed to provide me people that can I give need... me a dispenser. I'm gonna play engineer if this person doesn't pick NG. Oh, oh, oh. Waiting for it. Come on. I see where you're going. Alcoholic cat. I wanna see it. Do it. They're taking their sweet fucking time, that's what they're doing. He's deciding. He is deliberating with them with himself. Themselves. Dude, yeah, I'm gonna go NG. I ain't waiting. You for decides to go NG. Our heels are fucked. I mean, my dispenser helps. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You've killed us! You've ended us! If we really start struggling, I'll switch back to Medic, but I really doubt anybody else is going to play Engineer in my stead. Well, if Alcoholic... Ah, Scout! Okay, All right. I, I'm okay with the Scout. Alright. We gotta wait. We gotta wait for uh, Boss to get himself set up. I am ready. He's got more than enough time as long as nobody else ready's up. Oh, is that a signal? How the fuck am I supposed to know what the sentry placement is for this? What the fuck? I mean, we are in Egypt. Uh I, I I almost pronounced Egypt 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 Egypt. It's esoteric, man. Um, where am I holding? Where am I putting your dispenser, dude? Are we thinking right here? I think they're all funneling right here. Um, he thinks. How far does that reach? Not far enough. That's better. I don't like it though. Whatever. Um, what there should do. You want to put your sentry next to me? It has a lot of cover at least. I don't know, man. Let's fucking go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. I got dunked. Wow. Did you also get equally as dunked? Yep. I didn't get dunked, but I did watch everybody die. Fuck. That was sloppy. Oh, there's a shit ton of spies. Alright, maybe medic uh, is definitely what I should be doing. The spies are here. A lot of soldiers. Hopefully this is the right place for me to go. Oh! Oh! I got him! Another scout coming. And my legs. Ooh yeah! I gotta guard that fucking bomb. This match is going up right there. I'll get to building it here in a second. Oh, those are some medics that I can target. No, oh, he took my Jeez. ammo kit. The bomb has been sent back to the start. Yes. 
The bomb, bye bye. These points are all about to be. Oh! Uh, they they are spawning all ah. over the fucking place. They're kind of styling on us, guys. Styling on us with this ass map. <laughs> <laughs> they crit the shit out of me. I that I had that coming. Yeah, it's a fist of steel heavy. Scout. Hey, there's a there's a scout going to bomb. I'll see if I can cut him off. I got him cut. Oh, they are capping another place to spawn from, by the way. Of course they are. Yep, they are, they are prepping. Time to do a little bit of cleanup. We washed. We 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 washed a little bit, a little bit of money. <laughs> I'm hearing everybody die. What is happening? Soldiers flanked on right side. Oh my god! Oh, the dispenser's down. What happened over there? Soldiers, Buford. Oh, I'm dead. Soldier. Fuck. No, the fuck you don't, Scout. Well, they are. Thunder bomb. They're full sending everything. I don't know what way they're coming to bomb from. Uh, everywhere. Everywhere. I have a feeling it's everywhere. I just feel like I should just put my sentry gun on point and not worry about it. <laughs> oh my god, the crits! What the? The crits! The crits! You are about to face a fucking horde. Oh, I've That's got the gun. Ouch! They're going to be pouring in from all sides. Ow. Right side, the effort. Thanks for the heads up. Crits really are a game changer. Fucking two clapped by a scout. Oh, you got a giant medic and uh, and a demo coming up. That is all I fucking wanted. Well, my sentry gun got ran over. <laughs> that. All right. Okay. We have five people anyways. You, th you think we should oh, call he's it? Going it. Uh, if you want to call it, I can keep going. Well, we are uh, we are at the three hour mark, making this the longest stream we've done thus far. So I'm... Uh, if you're calling quits, then you're a pussy, but I'll call quits with you. Okay, well now you've said it on stream, so I have to keep going. That's right. One more round. I can squeeze one more out of you. My brothers and all of this mad wad made by a madman. I don't even know what that fucking means. I 
Actually, I think it does have a choke. Not uh, anywhere convenient for us. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> trap. He's been trapped. The trap has been, back. It's been strung. You're in denial now. Um. Okay, Hank. How about we hold further back? We dockyard it. Not full dockyard, but enough. Dockyard might be the way of it. Holding in here, because they're going to be passing through here. How about over here? How about over here? No, it's too close. My sentry doesn't have a good angle, and now that it's Hank, if I put my dispenser behind that wall. Okay. Twas but a brief thought. Pyro left the game. Bad math! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. It will get if called that, itself if that out. Don't speak, if that don't speak words, <laughs> I don't know what else does. Bad map. That Okay, that's good. That's, that's a good one. Oh, uh, fuck. I hear that fucking medic. How to do you leave for a bad map? Probably a. Friend. I like our I like our um, our our list of people that we have here. We have random citizen, alcoholic cat, and average gamer. Ah yes, it would seem so. What is a frat princesses? I don't know. Strange. Very strange. The average gamer from Mars. Oh shit. We got a... A medic? Oh, I'm a, a medic? <laughs> that's how you sound. <laughs> Damn, that's mean. Yeah, that's... Fuck with my boy Hank. Yeah, this this may this mean this mean I'm being mean I'm being super mean 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 I'm mean. Feels bad, man. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm mean. Yeah, I, that's what I do now. I'm mean. I'm mean on the internet now. Yippee ki ya! Uh, I don't have an exit telly. I'm so stupid. Don't look at me. <laughs> I like this soldier's hat. <laughs> He's got a chicken head. Hey. Alright, you got this, guys. I'm rooting for you in the back here with my sentry gun far away. We're gonna choke hold him. We're gonna guard him in here and then we're gonna beat the shit out of him. Oh my god, the dispenser went down immediately. I'm putting another one up right now. Yeah, they've got a good vantage point. Uh... Fall a little bit further back, Hank. The dispenser's going up. Well, it doesn't matter. The soldier's here. Never mind. Yep, I see. Also, be aware of spies. Got him just before. Yes! I was too away. We've held the line. <laughs> we got another giant coming our way. Uh, great. Because I was prepared. Well, I, figured I'd I need an idea. ammo kit. Is there an ammo kit in here anywhere? <gasps> yes, yes, there is.
I had to get up the list, the doggo. Uh, the doggo wanted to Watch out, to look four medics accompanying a giant soldier. I'll try and get to him. There goes my fucking sentry. Also, they're capping the other one, which I guess is a thing. That's not good. I'm not going to let them take this one. This one I'm going to fight for. Ow. Fuck. I can definitely play this shit smart. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting camped. My shit's, my shit's destroyed. Ow! Fuck. I do not like it when they hit me super hard. It can make me upset. You have destroyed all of my I'll get the dispenser over here soon. I didn't hit any of those guys. Fuck! Ah, I'm so em I'm so embarrassingly bad. Okay, uh, I'll pass my side. Everyone's gonna see it. This shit's going on the internet. Ah, oh, shit! Not again. She's down. Thank you. Bombs about to reset. I had demo, I had demo. And his medic. <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking being helpful? <laughs> Dispatcher's back down. Those big boys are still around? Yeah. My next con. I tried. <laughs> oh my god. What a headache. Stinky, I hated it. We held them at bay. That's something to be confident about. Fish. Oh, Perfect. Shmish works better back here. It was behind better cover, Hank. Shmish marsh. I really wish it was a better spot, but this whole area is ass. Yeah, it's a it's a little crampy. It's a little crampy. I noticed uh, the the gamer alcoholic cat has a has been hotel character as the um, as his profile pic. What are your guys' uh, thoughts on has been hotel? That. I don't know. I overrated. Okay, so we got overrated. Haven't watched it. What are your guys' thoughts on hell of a boss? Uh, I think the imps are hot. Yeah. <laughs> Honest opinion? I think it's ass. I, I think it's a whole load of ass. Uh, I think the some of the characters are hot, but the story is shit. Very brave of you to say Alabaster. Like, tell me what interesting thing there is about Hell of a Boss's story. We follow... I'm the dispenser up. We follow uh, a couple of imps. We, we follow a couple of imps who are hired to kill people. For the past few episodes, they haven't really been hired for anything. We've just kind of been following their lives, which I guess slice of life is fine. Um, the then there's like this background stuff happening with a noble demon family, uh, which I don't know. 
just doesn't seem to be the most interesting thing. Like, the, it's the basic political intrigue of wife wanting to assassinate husband for wealth. There's not too much nuance outside of uh, the, like, the main guy who's trying to be assassinated is also in a relationship with one of the protagonists. Which I, I guess that's how you get them into it. I just... I don't know. Some of the characters are pretty hot. I'll give them that. But also, if, you, if you're trying to de design demons, which is the goal of this, they're also very boring. Like... How the fuck did they cap? Uh, big boy. They've capped one of the places using a big boy. Which I hope we're going to terminate before new shit... Okay, there we go. Moving the, uh... The motherfucker behind here, hang. Look out for those starting crits. Oh my god, I'm literally going to kill myself. Holy shit. <laughs> what happened? I picked up my sentry and got bombed the same millisecond. Oh, that sucks. That, that shit sucks. Uh, but yeah, I think Hell of a Boss is a little bit boring. I think its characters are... A little stereotypical, but they they are designed to be hot. Like that is undeniable. That fucking I I can't contest that prospect. That their characters are quintessential hot. Um, what about Has Been Hotel, Alabaster? Has Been Hotel, completely different story. Boring as sin. Boring as sin. It is overdone. It is overrated. I they not released anything for it outside of its pilot. And I wish they would stop, like, selling it like it's a full series. The one person I do have much interest in is Angel Dust, but that's only because it's an androgynous character. Male spider character with moves. I... That's, like, right up my alley. I, I'm undeniably so. But that's about yeah, it. You, you have to recognize when something was made only, only to be... It wasn't made to the story. I don't think it was only made to be hot, but I think it only accomplishes the hot thing. I just... Oh. I'm going for the bomb. If you want a story, that's what Al House was for. Rest in peace. Al, uh, yeah, rest in peace, Al House. It died. It did us proud. It just it just closed off. It finished the series. Yeah. It's done. I'm sad. But it's better than it being run into oblivion. I would rather exactly. a story end than to drag on for just too long. Exactly. I've enjoyed several productions that were ruined because they just kept going. Yeah. One of them, unfortunately, I think was with Pokemon. Oh, yeah, Pokemon. Uh, I think yep. Pokemon would have been fine if they wanted to continue making new games for it, but instead of adding new Pokemon, what they did was they added in new forms for the old ones by doing Mega Evolutions and, and stuff like that. They just didn't stick with anything. They kept throwing in new gimmicks every time instead of refining the gimmicks that they gave themselves. And I think that is a great way to kill the intrigue for your game. Constantly throwing away the gimmicks you develop. Well, even with, like, mainline live-action TV shows, I feel like that would be really awesome. Buffy and Supernatural. There was a time when they should have At some point... I think it probably would have been better for them to stop after Sinnoh, to be honest. Because while I loved a couple of regions after that, I feel like story-wise, Sinnoh was what it's was. I think Gen 5 needed to happen. I think Gen 5 should have been the last one they added new Pokemon on, but then in uh, Gen 6 they should have started exploring ideas like Mega Evolution and then no! that. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> in terms of purchase, I didn't make it past uh, Gen 4. I just think they should have added in uh, more, more forms. Things like Mega Evolutions, things like regional forms, that would have been fun. 
And that would have been fine. That's all they needed to do. Just one game and- That is so fucking bad, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, this entry buster. Dude, this is how I feel all the time. <laughs> How are we supposed to compete with that? They're just push the steel heavies along the medics are dead. All the medics are dead. Fantastic. We are missing so much money, by the way. Bad scout. But I understand. It's just a, a very open map, and as a consequence of it being so open, there's not enough places to defend with. Also, the new Hell of a Boss uh, episode added in a character that is pretty much just a self-insert for the creator, Vizipop. Uh, we love I, those. We love it when people put full self-insert characters in the series. Um, can't say that I'm not a victim of this very sin, <laughs> but I, that's not for anything professional. Never. 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 I always surprised that if you're going to have the audacity to do self-insert characters, whether it be sin or not, at least put it with your full faults, too. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to add a self-insert character, you <coughs> need to... I believe that you need to make it so that they are faulted. Number one, don't make them a Mary Sue. Last thing you want is a Mary Sue character, whether it's your insert or not. Insert just makes it a little bit worse. But if you're going to make it an insert, don't make them story critical. Make them inconsequential. Maybe uh, maybe an informant or a blacksmith or something. Someone who helps a little bit or is comic relief or something like that, but doesn't take away from the story of the other characters. Okay. In which case, when your inconsequential self-insert is present, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. You think the whole thing's preposterous? I've never done a self-insert in any form or fashion. No, 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 no self-insert. Never. Ever. Oh, never. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Is the medic... Why is he quick fix? Uh, he's figuring himself out, man. <laughs> Ow. I can just imagine people who are not in the loop in the audience and they, they hear something like it. Yeah, last self-insert self idea that I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> Never do that well, no one's ever going to get our little personal stories until I finish writing. Yeah. What can you do personal? It's not personal. It's completely made of character without being paid for that to for myself. Oh, they're really well on you for Dragon Spear. Oh yeah, I've got full uh, fire and crit resistance, so I should be fine. Oh, I'm out. I'm out hard. Oh god. Keep the feet, keep the defense what? up. I got it, lad. Oh, this is nice. Ah, 
I died. But that medic is getting me up real fast. I'm trying to find a place for my dispenser. It's okay, take your time. I've got a dispenser down. Blast him. Oh shit, that is a very big scout. That is a very big pair of scouts. They're both dead. Nice. I, uh, I'm gonna heal before I throw myself back out in the battle. There we go. Hey, the scouts are dead. Oh fuck, giant devil. I, I can't kill. Yep, the big bastard's Uber. And I'm dead. I really want to upgrade my dispenser, but I do not have any car. Oh, fuck. Yeah, big cap. Also, I've noticed that this is taking a while. Almost, yeah. Actually, they're, they're, the majority of what they're throwing at us are ads, like additional things. They aren't actually the main force. Oh, I mean, we just launched a... My, my gun went down. Are we sure we lost A? Because it seems like they don't know if they've taken A. <laughs> well, I guess not. They're kind of indecisive. Um... Oh! That's great. I died of fall damage. Fuck. I don't have handle. Why? Is... They haven't even capped anything, and they're just sending somebody. Oh, boy. The boy. This is so. Uh, this is a little bit unorganized and I think that disorganization is a little bit bad. <laughs> oh, but they capped one of the gates, so now the giant has decided to start walking backwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. Uh, but that does mean we can go guard the other gate. I got my dispenser up already. I died. Because I'm stinky and I suck. Moving it up. Holy moly. Back up. Fuck. <laughs> oh, it's dead. We got four more soldiers you gotta deal with. And I believe they're about to destroy themselves. Yep. Done. Wow, I am actually very surprised we're winning. I am too, with as much money as we're missing and as much, as, as much of an ass beating as it seems we're getting. I'm also going to go push force and blast resistance. Ready. 
Uh, you get stuff set up. I think we. I think we're gonna get this. It's just. It's just so weird. This map's so fucking weird. I'm, I, I was actually ready to go to bed like a while ago. <laughs> the next time we fail, I'm gonna have the bed. Okay. Why did Why did you say anything? Why didn't you say anything? I, I thought we'd fail. Oh. <laughs> It was your idea to continue. It was my I idea. Have, I do. It was my idea, and I'm, you, I'm, I'm. You just putting up it. with my decision. Yep, you're biting that bullet. You're taking it. You're taking the pill. You're taking the pill. The soldier's gonna have sex with me. If you had to have sex with any TF2 character, which would Pyro. Uh, okay. Because TF2 it could. Pick. Could be a woman. It could be. Um, but if if you uh, let's cut out Pyro because it could be anything over there. It could be the the the, the optimal person. Let's cut um, out that one. I feel like the heavy would treat me right. I feel like the heavy is. I feel like the heavy would break me. I I feel like the heavy is tender. I feel like the heavy cares. He's. Just, as as rough as he is on the battlefield, I feel like he'd be a gentle, a gentle. Sure, I have my answer. If you're not willing to give yours, I don't have mine yet. I need to think about this more. I pick engineer alabaster because he can Ooh. make me a rusty. Southern love. Ah, uh, see, okay. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not gonna deny it. I'm not gonna deny it. Engineer seems like he's uh, he's in the he's in the making machines specifically for this purpose. I've got a his Benzer, uh moved up for you, Hank. Also, we uh, we no longer have a scout, so if you see money, try and collect it of your own. The robots divide themselves a little bit too much for me to be able to make up for <laughs> scout loss. What did we replace our scout with? Oh, someone just left. Yeah. Uh, thank you for killing the NG. I thought no one was gonna. On one hand, I feel like at least medic would be clean about it. Oh uh, no, medic! What? Medic has medic to be a be sadist. The worst. He had. <laughs> Like, I get that the mercs, the DF2 mercs are crazy, but Medic is, like, actively fucking nuts. He is, he is sadistic. Unlike the soldier who would be a wild ride, the Medic wants to see people hurt. So if you're going to have sex with him, you're going to have to put up with that sadism. There's no <laughs> way he wouldn't be a bad time. Uh, uh. Soldier, he'd probably do some weird shit that you know you aren't going to be into, but he might surprise you with how he does it and get you a new cake. The medic, he's just hes just going to hurt you. He's going to hurt yeah, I was you. About to say, I'll probably go with Slap Chop, because I like him dainty. Is there Ooh, a reason why yeah. on the back here? You need ammo? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Scout McGee. J fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, f I feel like the scout, if you're looking to dom someone, that's the scout. Um, yeah. But what is there to dom? That would have been my answer, but I feel it's like the totally scout would be like totally. like the annoying sub where he'll like fucking claim that he's a switch and then never fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I would love God it. it. That's... Oh, that's exactly how my ex was. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> oh fuck, that's funny. Uh, reminds me of that meme that was posted, just like that moment when they're both bottoms. <laughs> but I, I can't help it. I'm just, I'm always going to call him Slap Chat. <laughs> slap Chat. Yeah, you'll definitely have a better time with Slap Chat than Medic. <laughs> I feel like the spy is, he'd he'd take care of you like the heavy would, but he's one who would be willing to switch. Uh, he seems like the type to take. He seems like the type to be potentially. Actually, I can see the heavy subbing. 
Wait. It'd, be, it'd be a very big sub. I do not see the heavy subbing. I do. I do, actually. There are tons of heavy set, oh like, my God. bulky I don't guys. I really the end of this sentence. There are tons of heavy set, bulky gay guys who suck. Like, they're, they're into their own body type, which is to say they want to get dommed by the same type of person they are. I'm just saying. So you the think he heavy's one of those guys? I think the heavy is caring enough to switch, and, but he might be one of those guys. I mean, we see him getting shipped with Medic all the time, and Medic is without a doubt a knock. Now that I think of it, though... <laughs> Now that I, think of be, it, I really don't want to think about it. The problem is the comic. Because with Spy, the ultimate cosplayer, right, could be whatever I want. Plus, all the croissants. That is a very good point. Uh, along with that, the Spy, I just feel like he's classy. I feel like he's classy. There's, n He's too much. He, he's mature. He is, he is the right amount of mature. So I'm going to have to go with Spy. This for the cosplay and the croissants. <laughs> yeah, he'd take you out the dinner first, too. He's the type I'm of I'm good. There's a scout. Let's loose the mind. We got him. Is that a giant Bowman support, by the way? Because this is Ash. I, 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 I am happy so. to deal with so many giant snipers. I think it is. Another double there. Okay. Ow. Okay, I think it's just one giant soldier with three medics now. We're gonna have some support, of course, but if Grant eat the you be awesome, like you tonight. <laughs> Yeah, but on a I, I imagine the spy would, on occasion, prefer to be himself for things. Yeah. And you think Diablo 2 Primeval? <laughs> Diablo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. I need his own day. On occasion, you'd have to spot. You'd have to, uh,. Fuck the spies himself, but other times he might be willing to get creative, get creative with it, give it a little, give it a try. I'm really trying to give this conversation thought, and I think I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this because you called heavy a sub? A kind of. I like the heavy. Well, what, what's bad about being a sub? What 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 is bad about being a sub? Unmanly. Why the fuck oh are we still winning? Oh my god! Why are we still winning? <laughs> I want to. I want to point. I want to point out the fact that one of Heavy's cosmetics is literally a skirt. That's funny. And he's am, also got booty shorts. Heavy is I the am, most I sexualized. I am simply a bigot. I am simply a bigot. It would seem so. <laughs> you know who else is a bigot? Man, man. How do you all have autism? Yeah. <laughs> Even on the next day, it'll be super fast. Yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna put the baby sentry. Um, put him in the front. No, not put him in the front. He needs to be in a back line that's covering an angle that we keep missing, which is this one. I feel like the I feel like one of the ones you wouldn't want to bang is Demo Man, not because he's bad at it or anything, but because of the alcohol breath. Yeah, oh, that would be uncomfortable. Just a little bit uncomfortable. For some people, that's a turn on, kind of like smoking from sniper. Yeah, and that's what that's another kink you you could play into with the the spy, the sniper. I am one hundred percent sure has a piss fetish, so I don't even think that needs to be said. To each their own, mm -hmm. I mean, but. Uh, well, I mean, wouldn't you then ship the scout with it because of his milk? Mm, nah, cum fetish for the scout is kind of kind of a everybody sort of thing. Unless you're like really what 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 Hold on. cum what? fetish. Cum, 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 what is that? Cum, the idea of lots of cum, right? 
That's an everybody sort of thing, right? Everybody. I mean, like, in what context? I think it's like a weird planetary <laughs> thing, or it still plays into the fantasy, but then what happens if you get into the territory of excessive bits? Well, that's... Well, you got... Okay, for the sniper, you have to start by being into piss. But then you have to extend off of that by also being into large quantities of it. So there's, like, uh, a couple of hurdles you have to get through with the sniper for you to even like it. And I'm thinking, unfortunately, I've spent time with a few chicks who would like to be with Medic. Oh, yeah. Like, t there's, a, there's a massive community about... Like, medic is super hot, and I would want to bang the medic because he's he's kind of crazy. But they're the same type of chicks who would be into school shooters. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. That's what I'm... Self-destructive psycho chicks. <laughs> like, no thanks. <laughs> because they, for some reason, keep going back to it. Yep. It's different with me. I can change the serial killer. Exactly. That's the mindset. You can't change the medic. He's already harvested like eight people's souls and he's sold them all to the devil. <laughs> and unfortunately, the only think... difference is that it was just your turn. Yep. Yep. Something traumatic where they couldn't change their father or they couldn't change their first boyfriends and the rest of the life hunting down the same type of guy thinking they're going to change him. Yeah. So I avoid them. Usually. Usually. They're trying to search for their father figure. Sexually. Kinda weird. Freudian. We're getting we're getting into Freud's territory. <laughs> yeah. I will take the point possibly. Why does Punch still alive over there? Allegedly. Great, giant heavy. You're, you're complaining about it like this isn't just like a normal thing for TM. Yeah, but that one is a health bar at the top of my screen. The Earth. The Earth. Allegedly, the Earth is not flat. What can that say? Hypothetically. Let's see, hypothetically. Would you fuck Ben Shapiro if you were a bottom? Who's to say he isn't? He definitely is. Most of the conservative people who complain about gays and other stuff are themselves gay, so I'll give you that. Well, it's it's kind of the thing is that I know for sure Bush is not a bottom. Because how can you have Bush be a bottom without being uncomfortable? Uh, <laughs> because then that says, well, then how dumb is his wife if he's that chill? <laughs> <laughs> the thing with Ben Shapiro is that Oh my fucking god, I got butter knife by a spy. <laughs> the, the, the problem is with Ben Shapiro is that he gives me Sheldon from Big Bang Theory vibes. Oh god. Oh god. What makes me ask the question Is he like that even at the bedroom? Let's say hypothetically. Let's say, hypothetically, that I were to, uh, put my penis in your butt. Let's <laughs> say, hypothetically, I put this in there. What, what, what would you do? No. You know what? He, he's got a pretty, uh, good, well-built upper torso. He's got, he's got a breadth of chest and shoulders. He's probably fine when the camera's not on him, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think you could make that argument for... Most people that usually go up their camera the expectations. Right. Exactly. Let's see, I gotta admit, I were to shove my hand up your vagina and use you like a muppet. I mean, I mean, and he is kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so many people want to fuck his sister, questions. so you know. And I don't want to handle the answer. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I. Eric, are you, are you trying to tell me? Are you telling me you would actually fuck Ben Shapiro? That was like no. a... <laughs> Dennis. 
dead ass. No, no. Hold your fuck. Hold your brain. <laughs> what are you gonna say? No. I said no, and I'll tell you what. Why? Tell us why you would not fuck Shim Ben Shapiro? Because I wouldn't. I have my own reasons, but what are yours? I wouldn't because there's a female that looks like him who's available who also is on YouTube shorts. <laughs> ah, you're right. You're right. Why pick one when you can pick the other? Outmoded. Outmoded. It's not his sister, uh, but she. Why, oh my God, Ben Shapiro's sister is like fucking Gwyneth. <laughs> From Dark Souls, like Guinevere, whatever the fuck her name is. <laughs> but this chick, chick oh, is yeah, also. What is the? Who, what is this chick here? What she fuck? No, she has like the nicest rack. Are you the gonna let nicest. the man? F are you gonna let the man talk? No, no he's oh. not. He's not. He's not. He won't. He never will. It's like that. I, I want to apologize on everyone's behalf for you, because this is constantly fucking interruptions, and I don't know why it doesn't happen to anyone else. I don't know either, but, you know, I guess... Hey, you got a spy behind you? Okay, he's dead. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, fuck, like that. But, unfortunately, this chick is also a conservative commentator, but she does come from comedy and acting. Her name is Brett Cooper. She looks so much like him, but she's They're actually related. Surprisingly, they not. Yeah, they're totally not related. <laughs> the ghost of Ben Shapiro lives inside of us all. <laughs> he's not even dead yet, and he's still affecting us with our aura. With his aura, he's he's a he's a he's a primed soul, Shapiro Prime. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Shapiro Prime. When he dies, his soul is gonna manifest in its physical form and beat some robot to death. Oh. I don't know he hasn't assimilated already. Wow, my dispenser lasted that entire wave without me even needing to repair it. Ah, <laughs> oh, the fucking Huntsman with its bleed arrows. We got Bleed Huntsman, which is probably going to be pretty gnarly. Uh, I'll try and pick those medics. More importantly, if we're going to go down this route. Yeah. If you had to choose, at least for what we have, whether it be anime characters or video game characters. Already a great start. Fuck oh, Mary Kill. Fuck Mary Kill. Okay. Is that it? This day is the only character is anime. Anime or video games. Anime or video games. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna actually be topical and say Mary the Heavy, because I still he is he is a I imagine he will give me a sort of security. Physically monetarily emotionally heavy just seems cultured like that uh fuck on the other hand oh this is this is very different and i'm torn in a ton of different directions but just to keep it like not obscure i have some better answers that i would give but the not obscure answer is rouge the bat from sonic sonic adventures um do not elaborate I don't need to. I don't need to. Uh, if you know who Rouge the Bat is, I don't need to elaborate. You already fucking know, you know? Yeah. Oh, I have access to some very nice animations. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, but, to to continue on the kill part, uh, getting real obscure, the protagonist from Overlord Momongo, I would kill him in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um... I think Kill. I don't even remember the name of the show anymore that we saw a few episodes with the chick that convinced the dude to give up his virginity and then told him that he what they weren't compatible. I'd kill her. I I am not uh, I'm not privy to that. I don't think I was a part of it when you guys were watching it. Uh, well, it actually happened. Never mind. I don't even remember what anime it was we watched a few episodes of. 
I mean, if you convince yeah. someone to give up their virginity for you, like, you know, something fairly sacred, and then immediately follow up with, nah, I don't want to fuck you anymore. That's kind of... Well, if you're just looking to test the sex ability of a person, and they have, sex? like, that that virginity rule, which not everyone does, but if they do, respect that sanctity and don't ask them to go against it if you're just looking to test bang. Exactly. Oh. Uh, oh, you there's have just to show who's fucking Mary, Eric. Let's see, there's so many characters that I would fucking probably kill, but Mary, the stability of that, I have to live with them every day. Oh, gosh. I mean, if they got a good paying job, but they're absolutely psychotic and just destroying the world every time they go to work, that's a problem. Um, but they could be great parents. <laughs> yes. I mean, Mary is probably. Um. I don't always know character names either. Yeah, it's why I tried to keep my choices a little bit unobs uh, unobscure. So that the audience, whoever makes it this far into the stream, completely understands who or what I'm talking about. Dispenser's up. But I think... Of course, I, I think by canon of the show, I'd have to wait a few years. But... I think the name was uh, Winry Rockwell. Very um, good choice. From Full Metal Alchemist. Um, they're the neighbor girl. She's the mechanic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good choice. Yeah. Fix everything. That would be a Mary for sure. Um, fuck. God, so many of them for fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Keep it, uh, try and say a popular character. If you've got a lot of options you'd pick from, say a popular one that comes to mind. Oh, well then, Sabrina. Okay. <laughs> Sabrina from what? Gym, gym leader Sabrina. <laughs> ah, from Pokemon. I thought you said, like, Sabrina the, teen, uh, the, the Teenage Witch. Oh, fuck, no. That's a different problem, my dude. <laughs> That's different. She is of age now, but the character, no. <laughs> Something uh, I, uh, to keep in mind about the Poke... So, with being attracted to Pokemon characters, there's like a little thing that you have to keep in mind, and that is most right. of them have like a particular... Their ages aren't really mentioned, but when they are officialized, it's usually surprisingly low. Yeah, because they draw them to look like every day. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Without knowing, you would assume that they are at minimum eighteen. But then you get surprised with someone like Misty being definitely not eighteen. But I think this is just like a consequence of anime being anime and Japan being Japan. You know, I think it's just a cultural consequence. And I suppose it could depend on, you know, like, who that person is hot for, or you talk about fuck with cuddles, because, because then you've got Krona, you know, would actually take care of this, you know, actually take care of this person. But once again, I think it's a matter of having to wait a few years. All these characters, <laughs> they limit your choices. <laughs> So, I mean, pick a popular character that I don't have to alter canon for. Uh, it helps to narrow the choices, you know? This is because they, they draw these absolute bombs, and then they tell you they're like, in seventh grade or some shit. Oh, man. Well... 
you know, ones that we know are legit would be like uh, Ida. Yeah, Ida, Ida is Ida is gold. Ida is gold. Ida from um, the Owl House, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah. Ida and Clawthorn. She has abilities. She has wisdom, and she's technically a monster girl. So. She's also uh, personality-wise very fucking cool, very chill. Yeah, in fact, she could almost satisfy fuck and me. But. I need those technical skills of a wingy. So then there we go. Um, if I need to find a less obscure kill. I, I, I feel like I went obscure with the kill, you know, so go for it. Uh, go for keeping it obscure. Because that means whenever anyone asks, oh, why would you, why would you want to kill this person? Uh, right. then, they, then they can go through and look up the character themselves and experience the same journey you did discovering who that character was. Yeah, because I don't remember if it was Demon Slayer, if it was Toilet Bound, or if it was one of those from another world. I don't remember. I am almost 100% sure it was not Demon Slayer. There's, there's no character that comes to my mind that is like that in Demon Slayer. Oh. What well, even if I mentioned Doji's mother, no one's ever watched that one either. <laughs> Kill her. Um. Oh, you mean the Tale of Two Kings or Tale of Two Crowns or something? The Ranking of Kings. Ranking of Kings. Uh, I believe her name is Queen Hilda, and I'm actually going to contest you on that. While she is problematic, she she redeems herself at the course of the story, and I feel like that's good enough to get her out of the running for there. If you if you've watched the whole thing, yeah, because she does love her son. She's just also keep in mind that a lot of her bad qualities are a consequence of her being manipulated by a giant who wanted to fuck her, have a son, and then get a new body so he can live with someone else. Wait a minute. In terms of conflicted mothers, you did say, we did say video games, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Freya! I would have snapped her fucking neck. Freya from God of War. I. Well, I do. After, I, it's just that the boy, the boy was gonna kill. But you, I I agree. To... If your son is going to kill you, uh, and then someone kills your son in self-defense. It's a little, it's a little whack to say they're a bad person for doing that. Oh my god, we're actually about to win this. Yep. Yeah. He was gonna curse Oh my him. god. For Why was it first run so hard? I don't know. Go ahead, Eric. I said she was gonna curse him for all eternity for trying to save everyone. Yeah, a little, a little egocentric. Uh, so... There, there is a thing that she eventually does forgive Kratos. That oh. This is a massive spoiler in the next game. Okay. I, I feel like, though, she doesn't really have a right to forgive him. Sure, she, sure he killed her son, but he only did it because he knew that her son was trying to kill her. I don't know. It feels weird saying that Kratos had to forgive her, you know. That's true. I think well, the phrase. Well, no, it's like she forgave him for doing that because when he explained the story oh. of well, uh, I, earlier I iteration, because I, he had to. How could you understand my pain of losing my son? And he told the story of the ghost of Sparta, yeah. like him having to give up his daughter. Yeah. All right, well, I think this is a good place to end it on. The TF2 stream is officially over. Audience, I hope you have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you again. Fuck you! Ow, you bastard. <laughs> okay. <laughs>